here it comes and there i am again back from my short little break i hope you spend your time well and you are ready for some satisfactory now which will be a lot uh a lot more relaxing wait i don't need the controller for that let's turn that thing off let's save some battery power for that and let's head back into my safe here yeah what am i going to do today here uh first of all i'm going to get the correct audio which is the satisfactory audio there we go and second of all i will route the steel and maybe even the quartz from the res their respective production facilities that i have not yet built over to here and i want to use a spreadsheet to um get a little bit better of an insight um when it comes to uh production numbers and stuff uh and i found a really good one and since i really don't want to use that without giving credit at least i am going to quickly get the link to that guy's um youtube page where i found a video and yeah head over there if you are interested in using that um if you are interested in using that spreadsheet because i think it might be really really good as far as i checked out so far yeah it's drawing chaos with an x with an x so yeah make sure to go over there if you want to check it out yourself and yeah props to that guy because i'm too dumb when it comes to excel or google sheets to make that on my own and i got that right here i got it open and we will probably take a look into that later on for now i'm going to go over there with enough to change the four um the four drills or let's say the five drills that are on my way there to mark two so that should be five drills let's actually take another two for the oh no let's not take another two i'm pretty sure i already did mark two drills for the quartz so i need a steel pipe that something i'm going to get on my way there and portable miners i still need to find my way around here since i changed where my hub is okay so let's make 10 of those portable miners i actually don't need 10 i need six I think I need sticks because I get one back from each drill. So yeah. Uh, I should be able to make enough drills. Yeah, I should be able to do that. Let's actually use my sweet new ride I built last time. That should be a little bit quicker than walking there. Jumpy jump! Oh yeah, I like that one. That is a nice, ooh, nice little vehicle. 
Wow. Why did I jump out of that like this? Rage. Uh, oh, look at that. I think I might not need a battle drill here. With the battle... Yeah, with the battle... Conveyor belt, it's actually filling up pretty good. Okay then. We are not going to change this one then. At least not now. I do make enough concrete for now. So there is a, I think, iron mine over here. Yes, there is. It is actually filling up, but since I want to expand my steel production by a lot, um, I think I have to get a more to drill on here anyway at some point, so might as well do it now. That's just so much better than walking all the way. Uh, that one gets a minor. And this one. And can I do that from here? No. Okay then. Good, all the miners upgraded for now. Now let's find out if I can actually use that spreadsheet I was talking about. To find out how much boundaries and stuff I'm going to need. Oh wow. That is actually pretty good. Um, what I want to produce with that, all that steel I'm going to make is um, let's get, actually let's get rid of that. Uh, I want to have an assembler line here that is producing the encased industrial beams. So let's check that out. And let's open up that red sheet. So I'm going to copy here and call that in case industrial beams. And so that you see what I'm doing here, I'm going to put that up on my screen as well. So that you can actually do the same thing. Uh, yeah, it ha he has like mm, a few like examples on how to use it where you can just copy the stuff you need. And since I want to do encased industrial beams, I don't need a manufacturer. So I can actually uh, delete that. Oh wait, actually I need to delete all of that, so cell inversion, yeah. Oh no, I think I, I think I did that wrong, let's do that again. Let's delete that. Let's duplicate the blank sheet again and start over. On the couch, have you tried satisfactory calculator? It works great for this stuff. Even has an interactive map. You can upload your world, so world too, so it will show everything that you've built. Uh, yes, I actually tried that out. Um, but I'm 
I'm I'm not really happy on how everything is working out over there, so I want to try it with a with a with the actual sheet to do that. I want to have encased industrial beams and of course hello to you too. Thank you for joining and yeah, what's up? How is it going for you? How is your weekend so far among the couch? I'm I like to be among the couch, I'll have to say. So, okay, I got the industrial beam thingamajig now here, which means I need a line which has an assembler in it, which I then can copy and paste in here. And then that's going to be encased industrial beams. And now I need to say that that's a basic recipe, because it is what I'm going to do there. And now I just need to fill out the other stuff and then how much I want, <laughs> basically. So, uh, I need steel beams 24 per minute. So steel beams and concrete yes um 24 per minute and 30 per minute so that would be 24 oh no that was i think that was wrong Base item parts per minute, item pieces needed per minute. That doing that manual uh, automatically, I don't remember anymore. Let's put like 10 in here. Would be 1.25 assemblers. Okay. And. Steel beams, eight and five. I think in here I need to put the 24. No, I don't. And seven times V7. Did I do something wrong here? I'm not sure. M7 times v7 times the okay so 24 and 30 or is it 4 and 5 it might be 4 and 5 i'm not sure i don't remember let's double check that in satisfactory calculator uh, planners I did do that in here a couple of times so far but like I said I'm not really sure if that's my way of doing that especially when I have when I not have um Mark three, Mark three uh, drills, because if I put like the encased industrial beams in here, and say I want to have ten per minute, it starts off over here with a minor Mark three, and I don't know how to change that. Because I don't have minus mark 3. I want to have that with minus mark 2. And I don't know how to do that. But let me know if you know how to do that. How to change it to a minor mark 2. Because if I can do that, I for sure am going to use that instead of the... Um, 
instead of the spreadsheet, I think. But yeah, uh, if I'm meant to use Minos Mark 3 for that to work out, it's just not viable for me. I can use alternate recipes. Realistic mode, I don't know what that is. Now it's using Minus Mark 2 for some reason. Ah, okay. Okay. If I do the view mode to realistic, I can actually change what miners I have and on what kind of note they are. And the overclock, okay, well, I guess I'm not going to use the spreadsheet then. And instead going to use that. Because with that, that's actually way, way easier then. I don't know what's going on up here though. Limes? Ah, for the concrete, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, can I get rid of that though? Um, if I put an input item, uh, concrete 20 per minute, 30 per minute, so 50 concrete per minute. 50 concrete per minute. If I put that as an input, that's better. Let's actually make that big that we all see what's going on here. Okay, if I get 50 concrete per minute in here, I can do that. Uh, I don't know why they have so many splitters in here. Probably... Yeah, to get on to 24 and 16. What I can do now here, I can like... Those are both at 96%. The cool ones are not. And I only have two normal iron nodes, I think. Let's check that really quick. But I think I might run short on iron. before I run short of coal, which is actually pretty good. That means I can reuse that coal for something else. Uh, 120 per minute. One hundred and fifteen on those, yeah. So I can't actually make much more than 10 encased industrial beams per minute. Pretty sure if I go to 11. Well, I could overclock, I guess. Yeah, if I go to 11, I need more concrete. Uh, 30. I need 60 concrete as an input. Get rid of all of that nonsense here uh, actually even more 75 concrete per minute that is a lot of concrete per minute and i need more miners so let's see Available power shot. Minor Mark 2, normal, yes. Oil extractor. I put like two power shots in. Will that go to here? That will actually just go to one, okay. Iron ore, one for coal. Allow minus overclocking, yes. Uh, 
It's not so good that I can't use the power shots on those miners. Ah. Uh, I could, however, say that I have an input of 200 and ooh, wait of 240 coal per minute because I know I have that with my normal miner oh yeah and then those are getting overclocked 1 to 100 and 1 to 80 I am still intrigued to use that spreadsheet though. Not sure. I am just not uh, sure. Arts needed to use his machines 10. How did he do that for example here? With a 1 for the blender in the number of machines and he put the numbers in here manually of the amount he needs okay let's check that um let's go back up and check the assembler So 24 and 30 is what I'm going to need. Um, do, 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 do. There it is. Okay. So assembler needs steel beams 24 and 30. don't really know what that is supposed to mean. don't really know that. Uh, what did he do there? Nothing, I guess. Nothing, yeah. Okay. So that means I think that I need 30 to get that running. Ah, no. Oh, I get it now. Because I need 1.25 machines to do that. I need 30 and 37. Ah, okay. I got it. I got it. And that's why the output parts per minute per machine is 8. Okay. Okay then, um, so I need something to produce steel, steel beams and something to produce concrete. So let's grab a constructor. There and get that in here. And that would be the steel beams. Oh, I did I forgot the first part? I think I did. Yeah. Oh yes, I very much did. Let's do that again. And put that in here. And that would be the steel beams uh, let me that a little bit in the middle or let's actually get rid of my camera for now <clears throat> so 
good that means the basic recipe would be steel ingots that is true but it would be 60 per minute or 15 output uh, yep. so it needs 60 per minute or a 15 output um, number of machines no parts needed to use of machines so i need to get that from here yes why is it 1.5 though i10 divided by b10 i10 divided by b10 ah 15 per minute is the steel beams so if i do that i'm exactly at two uh, constructors oops i'm exactly at two constructors because i need 30 steel beams and i only get 15 out of one that makes sense too and that means i need steel ingots which then also needs i need to grab a refinery from here no not a refinery foundry I need a foundry there it is foundry let's copy that and bring that over here because that is now done oh wait the steel beams is done I'm sorry, I'm not very familiar with Google Sheets. And the steel ingot is done. Ooh. Neutron! Hello! Thank you for the flashbang. Thank you very much. How are you doing today? I am currently trying to get that uh, production sheet of that I found going uh do you for some for a chance have a an idea if i can use the that is factory calculator easier than with that so that i can say hey i want to only overclock the iron miners or only the coal or something like that Uh, as the esteemed guy before said, use the calculator. Oh, I can't. I have to say, I get. I'm I'm better with this with the spreadsheet, I think, than I am with the calculator because I have so many options here, but not the options I want. <laughs> That's my problem. I cannot say, hey, overclock only that. Don't overclock the other ones. You know what I mean? Because I have two miners out here. Uh, I want to have two miners to uh, to use for the for the encased beams. So I don't really know if I should do that or if I should go for the other. What I do is I use the calculator for the overall picture, okay. Actually, let's make that a little bit bigger here. Oh, that means I can actually get my cam back on, since it is not 
collecting anything. I mean, I could use the overclock one of the overclocked iron miners just for the beams, I guess. Lock that to 200%. Problem is, 240 coal is what I'm going to need. Which would mean I will not have enough coal or steel to make p uh, steel pipes. Uh, for the overall picture and then break it down in more windows and use that to calculate single lines to the intermediate products. Use the input field. Okay, yeah, I did use the input field for coal. That's how I found out that I need 240 coal to make 15 encased industrial beams. Um, but I also want to have an output for uh, the steel pipes because I do need a few of them as well and I need of course the normal steel beams as well. So I would need an output of steel pipes which will then mean I need more coal. So. I need to figure it out how to do that. Probably not 15 encased industrial beams, but maybe 10 per minute. Actually, I don't think I need that many encased industrial beams. Maybe I could go for five. Um, the 240 coal. Oh, I could, however, use the the maximum I have on iron which would be also 240 iron and then see yes if I do that iron ore which I also get 240 then I need then I know how many foundries I need if I don't overclock it Yes, 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 yes. That could work. That could actually work, yeah. Um, steel ingot. Let's do the output. And I only need 25 for that. That's not too bad. Let's probably do five steel pipes as well as the steel beams. Five for now. To see how the overall picture is looking. 100%. Uh, the encased industrial beam one wouldn't be at 100%. So if I do six, that would be at 100%. That would be at 93, so I could probably get another steel beam per minute as well. Yes. And pipes I would get out of my inputs. Um, 15? 20. 20. Yes, that way my constructors are at a hundred groups, a hundred percent. My assembler will be at a hundred percent. Ah, thank you, Neutron, to reminding me of the input field. Because that way I don't have to worry about which kind of uh, which kind of drill I have I just put an input of what I have and then go from there and as I see that now that my foundries except for one are not at a hundred percent I might actually go for more steel beams 
So let's go for maybe double even. Let's see. It would be one at 80% here. And the other would be at 60% to get it over there. So I could funnel a few out of there as well. Um, let's go for 17. Now both of them are at 100%. And my foundries look way better. That one is at 73 though. I forgot about the third one. How low do I have to go to get rid of that one? Um, steel. That's a hundred. That's sixty, and a hundred. Hmm. Sixty-seven percent, sixty percent, and another one at a hundred. Okay. He really wants to go for free constructors here. I go for 9 that goes down to 60 if I go for 8 53 so if I have 7 here it's still at 60 huh? I am confused 60 and 47 gone now and now it's gone okay 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 so with six i can do that with two constructors have the but i have the problem that my foundries are not at a hundred percent i mean i guess that's fine that way i can increase my production later with four foundries. Can I actually go with the steel beam so high that I have double the or one complete constructor more? You know what I mean? That I have like two constructors at 100% running. Well, that uh, that's 93 that's actually not bad but I don't need any more input oh yeah I actually like that um 22 maybe no 21 that's a hundred percent that's a hundred percent that's a hundred percent awesome And I'm still good here. One steel pipe is definitely enough. 20 per minute. More I will not need. And I think 6 industrial beams per minute is at least for, for now also okay. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm actually going to go for that and have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 foundries. Which means I need a 1 to 5 splitter. Oh, actually it says here how I could set up the splitters as well. Okay. Now that I know what I have to do, I think I am going to use the factory calculator. You convinced me among the couch and new trunk. <laughs> You convinced me that this is a little bit more convenient to do. All right, uh, let's get that out of the way for now. Because now I know that I need five boundaries. I can start setting that up. 
let's get rid of all of that um, as well as this and see if I can make a nice little foundation for all of that that back in here the input is coming in here um probably get rid of that a little bit okay i am over encumbered uh, but i'm pretty sure i can i can i can't really store anything here where is my buggy where did i leave that I think that thing has an inventory. There it is. Mm. Get stuck in between there. Yes, it has. Nice. That means I can store all of that junk in here for now. That as well. Take all of that. And now I hope I have enough room for five foundries. Which I am going to need the modular frames for. Okay then. <laughs> Let's grab that. Like that rid of that power stuff and then I probably should get um, two containers set up somewhere over here and empty those so that I can get rid of that I'm pretty sure I'm going to need the, the room uh, might be enough room uh, one two three four five six that is one too much i think because i do want to have that set up in that direction here so if i put one there and one there like that uh i need to check though what was the conveyor belt maximum for Mark III? 270. Good. I don't need two conveyor belts for that. Uh, that's the wrong way around though. I should be able to just put that up here like so. And that would be five. Did I need five or did I need more? I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five. I do need five. What if I overclock so that I don't only need four? Yep. I need to overclock one to 200% and then I only need four. Do I have stuff to overclock? Yes. Okay then. Steel. Get, oops, get one of two of those in here. And crank that to 200%. And then we check again, and so that you see it as well. If I crank that foundry to 200% here. And split that up accordingly. I can just go for 100, 100, and then one is running at 67%. If I would do it with one, I would need still a fifth foundry. 
And I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to overclock it like that. Good. That way it will be symmetrical. Um, let's copy that to all of them. Oh, that also uh, gets the overclock copied. Good to know. Okay, so that's my 200% one, and then I will have one running at 60 something percent, 67 percent. So let's do that for 200 and that for 67. Come on, 67. I know 69 is nice, but we know we need 67 only. Get that a little bit out of the way. Okay, since I do have the opportunity here, I'm going to... Oopsala. Well, first I'm going to fall down and then I'm going to merge that stuff together here. One probably here. And one there-ish. That together, put that together. Uh, that as well as this one uh, yep that that's something we are going to change immediately i need a little bit more room here merge that stuff together We put that up higher here. Get rid of that. And now can I connect that? Mm. Not exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. That is fine. I now grab me one of those. Wait, one of those. That here and that here. I can move that wherever i want so merger merger time what i'm also going to do is i'm going to merge those together and then get it up above the other one like you will see what i mean shortly as if i do Probably that. I can grab the iron. Maybe get that in from here. Or maybe use the coal instead. I'm going to make that pretty later. It's just so that I have the stuff where I need it. For now. like so why am I actually doing it like that I could make that so much easier if I just put that those those conveyor lines on top of each other right away why didn't I do that sometimes I don't know what I'm doing well most of the times I don't know what I'm doing to be fair Um, two. Okay. 
that a great line? Yeah, it is. Looked a little bit weird there for a second. Um, that goes into the middle now. And then in here. And that goes on top of this one. Which is not working from here. But from here very much. Like so. Get in there. Now the only thing left to do is get this one over here. Like that. And then up as well. So... One, two. That should work. Yes. And connect it. There we go. And with that we will have our 240 line of each material. And I can just connect that up. That's still running out. All right, let's get the splitters going. One here. Um, the input there, exactly. And another one. Oh god, I had that the wrong way around again. Deal. That was the 200% one, that was the 67% one, yep. Uh, I am going for another splitter here. Just in case I have to upgrade my foundries. Or not, not directly upgrade my foundries, but get more foundries. That goes there, that goes there, oh come on. Okay, coal should get sorted, perfect. Uh, now for the... For the iron. I'm going to need a splitter up here and one up there. Just like that and hopefully it's working, yes. Oh. Thank you for working. that good that means um, the iron and coal will be distributed here and I will have the amount of the amount of steel ingots I need Um, what are we going to do next? I think next I'm immediately going for some power because I do want to find out how to best distribute the power from one place to the other. And I think I want to do that with beams, but I'm not sure since I do want to go upstairs here now. Which would mean a wall, probably three stories high, yes, 
that is good and a foundation above it like so actually let's get that roof going right away and see how i'm going to go about the power there we go <clears throat> I want to have maybe just one in the middle here that spreads out to every single one. Let's see. I don't have that stuff in a hotbar yet. Maybe I should do that at some point. But not now. If I do a wall outlet, where's the middle? Or actually, even better, I put like a wall outlet right there. I can connect those two. Then go over to the other side, connect those two and we'll have the opportunity to expand by just connecting a few more power lines. And that might actually not look too bad. It is clipping through though. I don't like clipping through the... Uh, through the foundries. Um, let's try it with beams. Try it with beams. If I put a beam support here. Should I do it here? Yeah. I put a beam support here. And then get a painted beam. Probably to 10 meters high. And across. Way further across than I need. For now. Um, do I have enough to place a few boundaries for now? Um, one, two, three. Okay, another one is not fitting in here. And I'm pretty sure this one is exactly at the... Yeah. Okay, so let's delete that. I wanted to have a foundry that it's exactly at the cross here. That way I can just grab another beam support and shove it on here. And I will have the same distance between everything been up to 10 meters and a quick connection here like so with some connectors so that is actually looking good and now i can just go for the mark one wall outlet and put it basically right above that. Mm, come on. Not exactly above it, but good enough, I think. That means I will have a very clean power distribution here. Connect that up and then i guess i just go for another one of those on here maybe to get the power in should i go for the for the roof here get the power down there Not sure. 
That's something for later. Let's get that one there. That looks to be a wrong distance. Hmm. A uh, wrong height. That is connected exactly like that. Go there. Now it's ten point zero. I don't I don't get it. Sometimes I don't get it. That in there. That in there. Grab me one of those. Ooh. Wall. <laughs> Wall was the problem. Did not see that one. Connect you and you. Oh, wait. Need to connect between the two as well. Now, if I go all the way over to here. And put one there, and the same on that side, like so, I can connect them pretty good between each other, do the same thing on that side, there and one there. And connect all of that stuff up. And then I just need to find some way of getting the power in pretty good. And maybe even a little bit of a power switch. So that I, if I have to, not off that I can, if I have to, cut off the whole steel production at once. I think I go with another wall here. That would look pretty decent for now. I don't need this one though. Uh, um, hmm. I forgot to hook up this one here. Oh, how did I do the whole... Ah, yeah, that's what I wanted. If you click with the with the item selected, um, you actually get the line in between that. Which is pretty neat, I think. Pretty happy with the looks of that. And I probably can put some lights or something in between that as well and hook it up easily. So we will keep it like that and then we will get everything up to the. Oh god. Uh, to the top layer. Hopefully that was correct. Meh. Not really. Other way around. Connect. Like so. I'm pretty sure I don't even need the Mark III for that, but why the hell not just use it? 
Same thing will happen once I reach mark 4 or 5, I think. I'm just going to use all of that. Retweet sweet capacity. Do the same thing here. I think that's good. And there we go. We will get all of it up there. Um, let's put maybe a leather up. Well, let's go for a ramp for now. Yeah, I could even go for a jump, but to be fair. Three. Um, one, two, three. Okay, that would that will be my conveyor floor again. So let's get that up a little. Like so. And I'm out of concrete, oh, of course. Oh yeah, I need to get concrete over here as well. I probably need to figure that out. Uh, let's grab some concrete from home. Actually, let's drive home. So that I can sink all of the stuff I don't need right now anymore. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah ho! Come on. Okay, I am moving. I don't want to empty that thing and build it new. Hopefully I can get free here. Oh, come on. Why? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Mm. I have to put all of that stupid stuff back in to get the other stupid stuff from here. Oh, and I need to refuel, of course, since that's gone as well. don't want to have coal in there I think I mean it will probably last longer but I need to do something with my biofuel anyway that thing could use a, a gyroscope control it while flying Okay, let's grab what I can. Really? I could take everything. No idea why I couldn't do that before, but fine. <laughs> and let's think all of that stuff I don't need. Mm. All right. Mm -mm. Fell again. <laughs> Probably going to do the same thing for my iron facility at some point. Get the inputs right and then increase the production accordingly. Do I have. I still have 200 of those. I probably need a few more plates. A lot more concrete. And that should actually be it, I think. Wow. Yeah. Okay. 
Go, go, go! What the hell is going on with my network today? I am losing a load of network frames. I don't have anything open that should use up network though. Range. That is really strange. 1.3% network frames lost. I don't like that a lot. I don't like that very much. Maybe my girlfriend is hogging a little bit of the network today. Let's keep an eye on that. Okay, now for the hard part. Getting all of that stuff into the respective um, respective constructors. Um, I need one for steel pipe and three for steel beam. All right. One four steel. And that gets the slow foundry as well. Okay. Oops. I accidentally closed that. I did not want it to do that. I need the music back. Thank you. Uh, and I'm getting a call that I will have to take. So I will do a short break. I will be right back, but I do have to take that call. Just a second. If you just... Okay, I lost a little bit of gravel there. Oh, God. I meant so. Uh, yeah. And I meant I lost all of it. Schlagen? Yep. Uh, I, I crashed. I crashed a little bit with a with another car. Achso. Ja gut, darauf erstmal ein Stückchen. Hey, but the rear view mirrors are still intact, so that's good. Oh no, oh no, I forgot about that again. Oh! Bye bye. Well, why? Why am I seeing jumping Marcos here? Did anyone see that? That must be the other that is so weird. There it comes. Let's hope it doesn't get stuck on that railing. And of course it does. Damn. Damn it. Ceiling, what the hell? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh no, oh no. What the hell happened? Okay, I don't know. I was in venue. I don't know what happened there, but I think it flipped and exploded immediately. Uh, 
That means I should have now even less money, probably. Uh, rescued. The bullet, I must not go out of that area. Hmm. And I was just going to stay there. Übrigens, das Zeug, was ich nachher noch brauche, äh, was wir brauchen zum Bauen, habe ich schon gekauft. Steht einfach noch beim Händler. Ja, äh. Hm. hm? Ich, ich komme mal wieder zurück. Mal ich guck mal jetzt in den Stream. Wie hast du das gemacht? Äh, ja. <lacht> ich habe nicht aufgepasst. Lass mal den Kipper weg. Warte mal, den kann bitte nicht aufbauen da. Oh, oh Gott, was passiert hier? <lacht> well, that one is definitely not out of, out of the way now. <lacht> der, der, der verkehrt. No. Oh. Well, that's not coming out of here anytime soon. That is going to stay here for a while now. Because <laughs> I don't have the autonomous winch yet. Damn it. Wow, I'm stupid. I can't just do this. Getting, taking the road alongside the river. All right, I am back. I'm sorry about that. I just had to take that call. That was a that was a call concerning my upcoming wedding in September. So pretty important, I would say. But yeah, let's continue. I have not lost another network frame yet, so that's good. Uh, no, I don't know what happened there that I started losing those at all, but if it's not continuing now, I think that's good. Um, let's get up here. Well... <laughs> That worked out good, didn't it? Let's get up here again. And let's see... How to do those... Constructors now. Um, probably the same as always. Um, constructor here. Facing this way, which in theory should be pretty much above the boundary or not. Oh no, one further in and not in the middle. Okay, then I am going to put the constructors in the middle though. Like so. So one. That will be for the steel pipe. Um. Do, 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 do. There we go. One for the steel pipe. So that is done. Since it is above the 67% boundary. Um, well, the other ones are going for 100 and 100 and I need three more constructors. Okay. So it's actually four foundries into four constructors to make everything noise. Let's put the other constructor since... Actually, since they are not steel pipe, I think I'm going to leave one space in between. 
and put those four here and over here that way i can increase pretty easily the steel pipe production by simply rerouting some stuff if i have to and this way around i'm for sure going to go for that look again right here oh my nose my nose is itching today what the hell blah, 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 blah. uh oh it is already almost five so i think i need to uh almost six on me um which means I will have to get something to eat pretty soon, I think. Which, of course, means that I will have a short break of about... Probably half an hour, something like that. Before continuing here. That goes there and there. Okay, my drop frames are getting less, so I think it worked itself out somehow. Okay, let's hook the steel pipes up first. Uh, actually, I think... I go like that and then like this it's not in the same plane never mind <laughs> damn it oh, that makes it a little bit harder um hmm. Probably need to go like that, and hopefully I can hook that up. I can't. Mm -hmm. Okay, that means I need to change the output of the 67% foundry, which is this one. Uh, actually, I know exactly how I'm going to do that. If I put that one instead of there, like over here, I might be able to connect it directly. And then I just need to figure out how to connect the rest. Nope, I will not do that. I want to have all the conveyor shenanigans in the actual conveyor part of my factory here. So that this is looking nice and clean and all the spaghetti stuff is hidden over here. Which sadly means I need to figure something out here. What if I do a conveyor lift down here? The input like that, and then I put a merger or, or a splitter or something on it. Can I do that? Oh, I can't. Like so. That looks pretty neat now, and that should just connect up straight away. Yep. And if I want to feed another 
constructor with some stuff for steel pipes I can simply grab it from here and my nose is itching like hell I'm very sorry about that Ooh. okay that was not important this time so now I just need to figure out a way to get all of that sorted um that is an exit for the steel pipes so those two inputs and those two inputs need to be sorted and if i put mergers in the middle here right in the middle actually with the output in that direction and that direction I can actually merge everything together I'm not going to do that now since I need to spread that up uh, spread that out and get enough for one assembler 24 units out of it maybe should I, I should go for what they are telling me to go for let's do that with the foundry 200 percent first that gets a splitter and if i go for a mark one belt to that constructor i split it up perfectly so uh the 200 percent one wow first one on that side yes all right Ooh, that was close let's get rid of that for now so this one needs to go into a splitter which i think i can just do like that Put a splitter on it, uh, a conveyor on it, and now if I go with a Mark 1 conveyor belt towards one of those constructors, I am good to go. Um, I can actually do that like this. Okay, so this one is getting the Mark 1. One, two. Um. Yep, that's what I thought, sadly. Uh, maybe I can do that in that direction differently. Or the other ones let's check uh, I need to get another one together with that okay so I could also just 60 per minute so I only need mark one here oh well that saves me on steel which is good um wait first let's get that down like so and let's get a merger on it like eh. like so yes now i can just connect that up uh with a mark one That's not straight, is it? Oh, it's very much not. Um, maybe if I do the splitter 
directly on here. Um, why isn't that connecting the same way as this one? That's not fair. Wait. wait. Um, little, little like this. Hopefully I can connect it up. Input here. I can. And it looks decent. And there we go. And I still have room to get this one out of here. Very good, very nice. Okay, that would be a 15 line. Yeah, the, one of those 15 units per minute. So I need a 100% boundary to go into that mirror as well. Nothing easier than that, I think. Because if I do that... Out of here with a Mark 1. And around that thing. Like so. I can just hook it up. That gets 45. That gets 15 from here. So this one's sorted. Next one. We are going to do probably this one here the same way. I think that's a good idea. Because if I do this one the same way, I then have the big line for one of those. Uh, no, let's actually go for this one with the big with the big conveyor line which also is just a e. where is it there it is all of them are just 60 units per minute so all of that just needs to be a mark one is it though 60. Oh yeah, because I'm getting 45 out of one. I I forgot about that. Um, so if I go for the big one behind here, I probably just get that up there pretty easily. With a mark one belt facing that direction, like so. One, two. Connect that up. And so that I have enough steel, I'm just going to go for all mark one here too. I'm pretty sure for the steel pipes as well, yep. So let's change that out, that out. The output will be Mark 3 though. look if I do that and then hook it up like this it's not even possible never mind then one further back that would work but it would look very strange so let's not do that let's do it like that instead 
And of course that's Mark 3 again, which is wrong. That goes there. And that should be the second one, which will get the 100% um, at a 200% one. That one here, it's lying. And now I have done that to this one. And I have done that line. So I need another foundry and a third exit from here to the last one. Why do I have two though? Why do I have two though? One, two, three, four. I just built one too much. Yep, because I have here one, here two, yeah. Um, bye bye to you. Will be those throughputs here. Okay, this one needs. That one and the one from the foundry. I think I'm going to go for the same trick I did here. Have that sitting there. And put that one on it. Like so. And like so. Perfect, and now I just need to route that somehow over there. Um, probably around the back. Should I go to the top? Well, first I should change those out to mark one. Um... That's not a mark one though, no, it's okay. Should I go on the roof or should I go on the ground? I think I should go just on the ground here. Like so. And around this, I can change that up if I ever need to here. And if I put that there, I should be able to just simply connect that. And there we go. That should, in theory, do it. Um, I just need another... Uh, or not another, now I just need a place to put the assembler for the steel beams, for the encased industrial beams. I think I want to go another story up for that. Simply because um, in case I'm going to expand anything here, I'm going to have to do another layer anyway so might as well uh, three stories high here and there and let's connect that up and make a little bit of a loop I know that I'm doing a way too big way too big of a roof here but it'll be fine
and the power i think i'm going to do the same way as i did on the bottom i mean do i really need a i really need that one when i have a roof i don't really think i do need that if i have a roof let's see if i can connect that up from the roof in a good looking way um oh outlet mark one i'm not sure if i do a beam here that is better no i don't think so it will be a little bit closer we'll get a little bit straighter down the power line but i say if i do that fine one there and one here and one here and here And then I just need to figure out a way to get the power in a good looking way out of the building. But that's probably one of the least imminent things I have to do. Okay. Let's get up here. Let's figure out the balancing for that. Um, it gets split up to nine and six. That goes to go over fifteen. That needs twenty four per minute, so I might just go for uh, uh, basically that since the overflow will handle everything else so I'm going to split up the one that gets from the 200% one which is this one this one will get a splitter Wait, this one will firstly get a thing like this. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Little on the front, like so. And then this side or this side will feed to the outside. I think this side will feed to the outside. Uh, do I have... I don't have that in here. So that and mark one to here. Which hopefully is straight, which is it not it is not. There we go. Um, 
that would be the 60 units, the 15 units here. Ah, uh, rubbish. Ah, okay, 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 okay. That's not how I should do that. <laughs> At all. <laughs> Uh, I should get that split into two and then get a merger right next to both of them. Uh, which one will be the one that gets out of here? Mm, probably this one. So, a merger. Maybe directly onto that one? I mean, why not? I think that might work. Uh, yeah. Okay then. I will put the mirror draw with the output in that direction right next to each other. Uh, I'm going for Mark 3 because that will be the output. And the other one, right this one here, will get the same thing basically. Just right on it, like so. So this is the output towards the storage and the other one, so this is this output here and the other one is that merger and the output from that needs to go to the assembler on the roof. So where is the output that thing? Oh, very much on the wrong side. <laughs> Let's do that again then. There we. This way. Is where I want to have the output. Because that now needs to go over here. And yes, with a Mark 1. Because it's like 25 per minute? 24 per minute, so I don't need a quicker belt. All right, um, let's get uh, that on here, like so. That's the output to storage, and that's the other output to storage. Um, let's put that right next to this one. Oh, I need steel beams now, though, because that needs to be level three. What time is it? I lost a couple more network frames again, so I don't know what's going on with that today. But oh well, nothing I can do about that. Oop. Wrong floor there. So if I go like that, that should be fine. Hey, I could actually make a sushi line. Hmm. Not that I want to, but I could. There we go. Steel pipe outlet here. The other outlet here, let's actually put that 
both of them right to the edge like so and then i can either run them parallel or on top of each other but that's something i'm not going to why yet time to get an assembler here nine drip grab you Why didn't it place that? Weird. It goes up. Like so. And then I just need concrete. Probably from my main storage. Or from another node. Let's see. Do I have one nearby? I do at the quartz mine. No, 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 right there. Okay, never mind. I will not get the, uh, co uh, the concrete from over here. I will just make another concrete production. So, assembler. Let's line that up with the first input here. Man, those things are big. Hmm. That should be lined up. Connected. And of course that gets the encased industrial beam recipe. Steel beam. Beam and steel beam. That one should have the steel pipe already. Good. All right. Um, I get the concrete later after dinner because I am getting hungry, uh, which means I will close up the game for now make a quick dinner break i hope you will be here after i return it will take about 15 minutes for me to do that break and then we have the whole evening to well get everything else done probably so yeah thanks for watching for now and I hope you stick around so that we can continue together after dinner. And yeah, with that I say enjoy your dinner. Yeah, see ya to you, Marcus, as well. And yeah, I will see you after dinner. Until then, enjoy my Be Right Back screen or whatever you are doing until then. And I will be back probably around 18.45 to 19 o'clock. <laughs> 19 o'clock. Like 6.45 to nine, uh, 7 o'clock for the English speaking folk here. All right then, see you later. What? Why? Why am I seeing jumping Marcos here? Wieso sehe ich das nicht? Did anyone see that? Das muss die Wärme sein. That is so weird. Getting, taking the road alongside the river. Oh god! Uh, 
Um, okay. Well, that happened. If you just... Okay, I lost a little bit of gravel there. Oh god! I meant so. Uh, yeah. And I meant I lost all of it. Kannst du dich mal schlagen? Yep. Ich mach uh, mir die Mühe und füll das Ding. I, I crashed, I crashed a little bit with, a do with another car. Achso. Ja gut, darauf erstmal ein Stückchen. Hey, but the rear view mirrors are still intact, so that's good. Let me get that. Copy it here. Is this here so a horror spiel for you, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I got my jump scares here too, just as Thompson had in his game. Ja, du wirst nie wissen, wenn ich wirklich da bin. Yep. Ja! Yeah. Okay, I feel hunted. Bitte passt das. Wo ich mich hier nicht wegbewegen von der Ecke groß. Marco. No. Oh. Well, that's not coming out of here anytime soon. That is going to stay here for a while now. Because <laughs> I don't have the autonomous winch yet. Damn it. Mm. Well, not dead yet. I do need to go retrograde though. Don't ask me how I survived that. No idea. And there is another one incoming. Well, victory screech! Those were some explosions. Were that explosions enough for you? Bye, have a great time. Uh, okay. Soll ich jetzt den Knaller zünden? Den Knaller. Oh. oh no, oh no, I forgot about that again. Oh! Bye-bye. Well. Was? 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 Der blöde Wolf, was ist hier los? Der Wolf greift unsere Beete an. Ich habe in Geister Fukus über die Steine hier springen? Was ist hier los? <lacht> Gott, das wird Zeit, dass ich wieder Host sei. <lacht> Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. Ich muss ja nicht rausfahren aus dem Bereich. Mhm. Ich kann den Bagger da nicht stehen lassen. Übrigens, das Zeug, was ich nachher noch brauche, äh, was wir brauchen zum Bauen, habe ich schon gekauft. Das steht einfach noch beim Händler. Ja, äh... Hm. hm. Ich komme mal wieder mal zurück. Den, ich guck mal jetzt in den Stream. Wie hast du das gemacht? Äh, ja. <lacht> ich hab nicht aufgepasst. It. 
Oh man. I'm not sure if I can get out of here again. Oopsie. Then, erst mal den Kipper weg. Warte mal, den kann bitte nicht aufbauen da. Oh, oh Gott, was passiert hier? <lacht> <lacht> well, that one is definitely not out of, out of the way now. <lacht> oh, I sh should not have done that, that's for sure. No. Um, uh, change of plans. I'm gonna get my pickup and get that thing back on its wheels now. Oopsie. Should I do that with the GMC, maybe? Not sure if the GMC actually can get down there. Um, That's annoying. Very annoying. <laughs> yep, I saw that. <laughs> money, money, money. It must be funny. There it comes. Let's hope it doesn't get stuck on that railing. Mm. And of course it does. Damn. Damn it. Ceiling, what the hell? Okay, I am almost at the fuel station. I can see it already. Go! Oh, whoa, crap! Well, I hope you were here for that. I accidentally pressed the wrong button and connected my winch to that lamp or uh, to that power line there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Oh, da wird ja auch die Animation, wenn ich Messer wechsle. Platzt dir gerade am Hintern. Okay. Mir wird das Messer hoch. Bei mir kratzt du dir am Hintern. Mit dem Messer. <lacht> das juckt. <lacht> <laughs> okay, jetzt wirfst du das Messer auf mich natürlich. Auf wen sonst? Wow, I'm stupid. I can just do this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell happened? Okay, I don't know. I was in venue. I don't know what happened there, but I think it flipped and exploded immediately. Uh, that means I should have now even less money, probably. Uh, rescued. Well, not dead yet. I do need to go retrograde though. Don't ask me how I survived that. No idea. And there is another one incoming. <laughs> well. Victory Screech! Those were some explosions. 
Were that explosions enough for you? Bye, have a great time. Uh, okay. Soll ich jetzt den Knaller zünden? Zünd den Knaller. Irre. Oh. That's annoying. Very annoying. Ja, <lacht> 360 Grad gedreht. Yep, I saw that. Let me get that. Copy it here. Ist das hier so ein Art Horrorspiel für dich, hä? Ja, irgendwie schon. I got my jump scares here too, just as Thompson had in his game. Ja, du wirst nie wissen, wenn ich wirklich da bin. Yep. Ja! Okay, I feel hunted. Ich muss ja nicht rausfahren aus dem Bereich. Mhm. Ich kann den Bagger dann stehen lassen. Übrigens, das Zeug, was ich nachher noch brauche, was wir brauchen zum Bauen, habe ich schon gekauft. Steht einfach noch beim Händler. Ja, äh. Hm. Mhm. Ich, ich komme mal wieder zurück. Mal ich guck mal jetzt in den Stream. Wie hast du das gemacht? Äh, ja. <lacht> ich hab nicht aufgepasst. Ich hab bei dem Strom geklingelt, echt. Warst du gerade? Was? Was? Der blöde Wolf, was ist hier los? Der Wolf greift unsere Beete an. Ich hab einen geister Fukus über die Steine hier springen. Was ist hier los? <lacht> Gott, das wird Zeit, dass ich wieder Host sei. Oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. There it comes. Let's hope it doesn't get stuck on that railing. Hmm. And of course it does. Damn. Damn it. Hmm. Ow. Ow. That threw me to the ceiling. What the hell? Getting taking the road alongside the river. Oh god. Uh um Okay. Well, That happened. Okay, features. Okay, I lost a little bit of gravel there. Oh god. Meinst du? Uh yeah. And I meant I lost all of it. Hast du überschlagen? Yep. Uh, I, I crashed, I crashed a little bit with, a with another car. Achso. Ja gut, darauf erstmal ein Stückchen. Hey, but the rear view mirrors are still intact, so... That's good. Oh no, oh no, I forgot about that again. Um, bye bye. Well, it's lovely. What? Why? Why am I seeing jumping Marcos here? Did anyone see that? That must be the That is so weird. Wow, I'm stupid. I can't just do this. Bit. Oh man. I'm not 
sure if I can get out of here again. Oopsie. Hat aber die auch die Animation, wenn ich Messer wechsle? Hat's dir gerade am Hintern. Okay. Wir machen das Messer hoch. Bei mir kratzt du dir am Hintern. Mit dem Messer. Was <lacht> juckt? <lacht> <lacht> Okay, jetzt wirfst du das Messer auf mich natürlich. Auf wen sonst? Oh, I sh should not have done that. That's for sure. No. Um, uh, change of plans. I'm gonna get my pickup and get that thing back on its wheels now. Oopsie. Do that with the GMC, maybe? I'm not sure if the GMC actually can get down there. Um, then, lass mal den Kipper weg. Warte mal den Kran bitte nicht aufbauen da. Oh, oh Gott, was passiert hier? <lacht> <lacht> Well, that one is definitely not out out of out of the way now. <laughs> okay, I am almost at the fuel station. I can see it already. Oh, whoa, crap. Well. I hope you were here for that. I accidentally pressed the wrong button and connected my winch to that lamp po uh, to that power line there. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. <laughs> money, money, money. It must be funny. In the rich man's room. Did it pass us? Wo ich mich hier nicht wegbewegen von der Ecke groß. Ähm. Problem, Marco. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell happened? Okay, I don't know. I was in menu. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I think it flipped and exploded immediately. Uh, that means I should have now even less money. Probably. Uh, rescued. No. Oh. Well, that's not coming out of here anytime soon. That is going to stay here for a while now. Because I don't have the autonomous winch yet. Damn it. Oh no, oh no, I forgot about that again. Roar! Um bye bye. Well, Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell happened? Okay, I don't know. I was in menu. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I think it flipped and exploded immediately. 
Uh, that means I should have now even less money, probably. Uh, rescue. Then, lass mal den Kipper weg. Ob man ihn kann, bitte nicht aufbauen da. Oh, oh Gott, was passiert hier? <lacht> <lacht> well, that one is definitely not out of, out of the way now. <lacht> Okay, I lost a little bit of gravel there. Oh god! Uh, yeah. And I meant I lost all of it. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, I crashed, I crashed a little bit with, a do with another car. Hey, but the rear view mirrors are still intact, so that's good. Was du grad? Was? Was? Der blöde Wolf, was ist hier los? Der Wolf greift unsere Beete an. Ich habe einen Geister Fukus über die Steine hier springen. Was ist hier los? <lacht> Gott, das wird Zeit, dass ich wieder hose. <lacht> Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. <lacht> oh. No. Well, that's not coming out of here anytime soon. That is going to stay here for a while now. Because <laughs> I don't have the autonomous winch yet. Damn it. Getting, taking the road alongside the river. Oh god. Uh, um, okay. Well, that happened. That's annoying. Very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I saw that. <laughs> there it comes. Let's hope it doesn't get stuck on that railing. Mm. And of course it does. Damn. Damn it. Mm. Ow. Ow, that threw me to the ceiling. What the hell? Let me get that copied here. Is this here so an art horror spiel for you, huh? Yeah, it's irgendwie schon. I got my That's jump scares here too, just as Thompson had in his game. Ja, du wirst nie wissen, wenn ich wirklich da bin. Yep. Ja! Okay, I feel hunted. Wow, I'm stupid. I can just do this. Probably. Schwierig, well. Wo bist du? Komm raus. Why? Why am I seeing jumping Marcos here? Und wieso sehe ich das nicht? Did anyone see that? Oh. Das muss die Wärme sein. <laughs> that is so weird. Bitte passt das. 
wo ich mich hier nicht wegbewegen von der Ecke muss. Marco. Okay, I am almost at the fuel station. I can see it already. Go. Oh, whoa, crap. Well, I hope you were here for that. I accidentally pressed the wrong button and connected my winch to that lamp uh, to that power line there. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Well, not dead yet. I do need to go retrograde though. Don't ask me how I survived that. No idea. And there is another one incoming. Well, victory screech! Those were some explosions. Were that explosions enough for you? Bye, have a great time. Uh, okay. Soll ich jetzt den Knaller zünden? Zünd den Knaller. Irre. Mit Bullen, ich muss ja nicht rausfahren aus dem Bereich. Mhm. Ich kann den Bagger dann stehen lassen. Übrigens, das Zeug, was ich nachher noch brauche, äh, was wir brauchen zum Bauen, habe ich schon gekauft. Steht einfach noch beim Händler. Ja, äh. Hm. hm? Ich, ich komme komm mal wieder mal zurück. Ins, ich guck mal jetzt in den Stream. Wie hast du das gemacht? Äh, ja. <lacht> ich habe nicht aufgepasst. Oh, I should not have done that, that's for sure. No. Um, uh, change of plans. I'm gonna get my pickup and get that thing back on its wheels now. Oopsie. So I do that with the GMC, maybe? Not sure if the GMC actually can. Money, money, money. It must be funny. Macht er bei dir auch die Animation, wenn ich Messer wechsle? Ja, das hat's dir gerade am Hintern. Ja, ich hab das Messer hoch. Ja, das hat's dir gerade am Hintern. Ja, das hat's dir gerade am Hintern. Mit dem Messer. <lacht> okay, jetzt wirfst du das Messer auf mich natürlich. Auf wen sonst? can get out of here again. Oopsie. Macht er bei dir auch die Animation, wenn ich Messer wechsle? Hat's dir gerade am Hintern. Okay. Bei mir wirft das Messer hoch. Bei mir kratzt du dir am Hintern. Mit dem Messer. <lacht> das juckt. <lacht> Okay, jetzt wirfst du das Messer auf mich natürlich. Auf wen sonst? Äh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell happened? 
Okay, I don't know. I was in menu. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I think it flipped and exploded immediately. Uh, that means I should have now even less money, probably. Uh, rescued. Then, lass mal den Kipper weg. Braucht man den Kran bitte nicht aufbauen da? Oh, oh Gott, was passiert hier? <lacht> <lacht> well, that one is definitely not out of, out of the way now. <lacht> Let me get that copied here. Is this here so an art horror spiel for you, huh? Yeah, irgendwie schon. I got my Was? jump scares here too, just as Thompson had in his game. Ja, du wirst nie wissen, wenn ich wirklich da bin. Yep. Ja! Okay, I feel hunted. I can get out of here again. Oopsie. Oh, I sh should not have done that, that's for sure. No. Um, uh, change of plans. I'm gonna get my pickup and get that thing back on its wheel as now. Let's see. Let's do that with the GMC, maybe? I'm not sure if the GMC actually can get down there. Um. Uh. Well, not dead yet. I do need to go retrograde though. Don't ask me how I survived that. No idea. And there is another one incoming. Uh, well. Victory screech! Those were some explosions. Were that explosions enough for you? Bye, have a great time. Uh, okay. Soll ich jetzt den Knaller zünden? Zünd den Knaller! Irre! Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Well, that's not coming out of here anytime soon. That is going to stay here for a while now. I don't have the autonomous winch yet. Damn it. Getting, taking the road alongside the river. Oh god! Uh, um. Okay. Well. That happened. Why? Why am I seeing jumping Marcos here? Wieso sehe ich das nicht? Did anyone see that? Das muss die Wärme sein. <laughs> that is so weird. Guck mal, das ist ja sogar hier bei drei Monaten warten. Das ist echt heftig. Ich hab bei denen schon Sturm geklingelt, echt. Was du grad... Was? Was? Da 
Blöde Wolf, was ist hier los? Der Wolf greift unsere Beete an. Ich habe einen Geister Fukus über die Steine hier springen. Was ist hier los? Gott, das wird Zeit, dass ich wieder Host sei. Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. Ich muss ja nicht rausfahren aus dem Bereich. Ich mhm. kann den Bagger dann stehen lassen. Übrigens, das Zeug, was ich nachher noch brauche, was wir brauchen zum Bauen, habe ich schon gekauft. Es steht einfach noch beim Händler. Ja, äh. Hm. hm? Ich, ich komme mal wieder mal zurück. Den, ich guck mal jetzt in den Stream. Wie hast du das gemacht? Äh, ja. <lacht> ich habe nicht aufgepasst. Okay, I lost a little bit of gravel there. Oh god. Mein Zoll. Uh, yeah. And I meant I lost all of it. Hast du dich überschlagen? Yep. Ich uh, mache ich mir die Mühe und fülle das Ding. I, I crashed, I crashed a little bit with, a, with another car. Achso. Ja gut, darauf erstmal ein Stückchen. Hey, but the rear view mirrors are still intact, so that's good. Wow, I'm stupid. I can't just do this. Oh no, oh no, I forgot about that again. Um, bye bye. Well. Almost at the fuel station, I can see it already. Go. Ooh. Whoa, crap. Well, I hope you were here for that. I accidentally pressed the wrong button and connected my winch to that lamp, uh, to that power line there. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. <laughs> money, money, money. It must be funny. That's annoying. Very annoying. Yeah, we have 360 Grad gedreht. Yep, I saw that. <laughs> Passt das. Wo ich mich hier nicht wegbewegen von der Ecke groß. Ähm. Problem, Marco. Here it comes. Let's hope it doesn't get stuck on that railing. Oh. And of course it does. Damn. Damn it. Forgot about that again. Um, bye bye. Well, the features. Okay, I lost a little bit of gravel there. Oh God. Let's say. Uh, yeah. And I meant I lost all of it. Schlagen? Yep. Ich mache uh, mir die Mühe und fülle das Ding. I, I crashed, I crashed a little bit with, a do, with another car. Achso. Ja gut, darauf erstmal ein Stückchen. Hey, 
but the rear view mirrors are still intact, so that's good. No. Oh. Well, that's not coming out of here anytime soon. That is going to stay here for a while now. <laughs> because I don't have the autonomous winch yet. Damn it. Oh, I sh should not have done that, that's for sure. Nope. Um, uh, change of plans. I'm gonna get my pick up and get that thing back on its wheels now. Oopsie. Could do that with the GMC, maybe? Not sure if the GMC actually can get down there. Um, okay, I am almost at the fuel station. I can see it already. Go! Ooh! Whoa, crap. Well, I hope you were here for that. I accidentally pressed the wrong button and connected my winch to that lamp uh, to that power line there. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Hier. Ist das hier so ein Art Horrorspiel für dich, hä? Ja, irgendwie schon. I got my Was? jump scares here too, just as Thompson had in his game. Ja, du wirst nie wissen, wenn ich wirklich da bin. Yep. Ja! Okay, I feel hunted. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell happened? Okay, I don't know. I was in menu. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I think it flipped and exploded immediately. Uh. That means I should have now even less money, probably. Uh, rescued. Getting, taking the road alongside the river. All right, everyone. I am back from dinner. Sorry, it took me a little bit longer than anticipated. The oven was not really ready when I said I'm taking a break so it just took a few minutes longer <clears throat> but now i'm back and i'm going to start up good old satisfactory again and then we go and continue <clears throat> and hopefully those dropped frames are not increasing anymore. <clears throat> Let me know if it's dropping badly for you guys. Or something like that. So that I can see if I can do something about that. Actually make that a little bit wider. Mm. Ah. It's okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get some other music going really quick here. Aren't here the same thing all over again. So, what are we going to listen to today? Let's go for rock now. Well, I had that song a couple of times now. Um, Let's do this one. <clears throat> oh, for...
Uh, okay. Let's do this. <clears throat> uh, I needed to grab some concrete for this guy here. How much do I actually need? Since I am thinking about uh, changing the miner down here uh, to a better one. Increase that by one constructor and split up the, the amount I need over here. <coughs> uh, so, how much do I actually need? Um, as you can see I need exactly 30 <clears throat> which is actually pretty good to use for that 30 per minute well let's see oh wait I can take my car Take my explorer. Let's go. Well, that worked out very good, didn't it? Come on, flip back. God, I don't see a thing here. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> All right then. Hello there. How much are you producing? 90 parts per minute, which should get those to 100. Yes, and that thing is overclocked. So, <clears throat> how much do I get out of that? 15 per minute. That's actually one. Two. Okay, so I would need two to get my production going. Two more, that is. Let's see. One and two, and of course my car is in the way. Why did something damage me here? That was weird. <clears throat> okay, so I need at least two more. One and two right there. Let's change this one to a Mark II, if I can. Minor Mark II coming up. What do I get now? 120. Um, that would be 120 divided by 4... 30. I need 45 though, so I need more. <clears throat> 180, that's enough. That is enough. Uh, I do want to have that on a foundation though. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> So, uh, minor, 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 mark two. Like so. And now I just need to hook everything up again. 180 per minute. Connect you up to that. And get another power pole in here. Whoops, that was the wrong one. 
that's what I want. There and there. Uh, concrete. And concrete. Good. And now I just need to get a few splitters here. I can do that like this. Badly not. Hmm. A little bit too close, everything here. It was overclocked? No. Maybe I should turn it around. Like so. Yeah, that's better. That way I can get that nice and neat in the middle here. So it should get diverted pretty good. One, two. In there, in there. And in there. Um, Thirty per minute. I think I can actually just go for it here. Don't need any balancing whatsoever. I just need to place this one the right way around. Oh no, actually I do need balancing. Otherwise one might not work at a hundred percent. I need to I need to have a splitter here. Probably which then divides to two splitters. Yeah. And how about I put that correctly placed? Like so. Which means I can actually turn this one around as well. That goes there, that goes there. Connect here. Um, connect here. And there we go. <clears throat> Now it's evenly distributed between all of them. And all of them are making concrete. This goes directly into storage, which is nice. And this one I'm going to merge together. Like so. And then I need to figure out a way to get that over there. But when I take a look at that, I can grab that pale berry and then get it up here. So let's do that. Should be the right height. Actually, let's get that straight over there. Like so, because then I can put a nice little slope. Probably to that height. Actually, uh, that's there, so... Now I just connect that up with 
the two meter slope like so since I haven't had I have not uh, bought the ramps yet that's how I have to do it for now And if I do it like that, I can actually drive below everything still, which is good. One here? No. Get a nice little... Oh, actually, I do have bigger pillars now, so I might... Try a little bit of a different look here. Big pillar support. Like that, and then a big concrete pillar. And that actually looks way better than a foundation. <clears throat> that goes away and that's it. Get rid of the shrubbery. Now it's only a matter of getting all of that over there. Mm. Ah, too bad. <laughs> a little bit too long that slope. Oh well, it'll be fine. Another pull here and then I probably just go up like that. And there we go. Now it's just a matter of placing those on here. And then we are automated. We have automated. Um, the encased industrial beams. Which is awesome. I can't go much higher though. British. Or oh, that will not flip through, but it is close. It is very close. That's it for steel beams. Not good. Give me all the steel beams. Good thing is I can just merge those steel beams on the conveyor belt I'm Getting over there. Whoops. Thank you, autosave. You just threw me off my bridge. coming up now for a another input on top here I want to have that probably there um, I think reversed yes very much so 
Uh, come on, that's not cool. And that's not at the right position either. Okay then, let me do it in a different way. Mm, here, like so, and a splitter right in the middle here. So now I oops, now I should oh come on get up there. Now I should be able to hook that up. Yes. And there it is, running all the way up there. We get rid of that and everything is fine. And if I have to, I can even let it up even further. So, but now comes the more difficult task of getting a decent looking power supply to that. Um, I probably should think about having the... Ooh, missed the beam there. Probably think about having a wall here. The let's see, uh, barrier. Let's try it with barriers. Um, I have a barrier here. I hopefully can put a put there and is that lining up that's the question now it is not it is sadly not um can i connect it though oh i could okay never mind we do it exactly like that you go there rid of that and now I just need to put a normal wall on that one and then on that part and that is a little bit fighting against each other here but I would say it's okay we close that up that up Uh, actually, let's do that, and we have to have a little bit of a Z fight here too. Probably. Yep. A little bit jittery here. <coughs> Why am I? Uh, focused as the raid leader. That is strange. Uh, but hey, welcome back to you, Marcus, too. Okay, got that now here. Um, let's extend the roof all the way. Like so. And for now, I think a simple wall here and here and a roof that is actually aligned properly. Like so. And like so. Would look much better. Much, much better. I do need a door. Get out of here, though. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, let's put that in the middle of that foundation, probably here, like so, and this one goes on top. Like 
that. And that would be now the... Steel beams and the steel pipe. Now for the encased industrial beams, I'm going to go... Oh god. Well, let's do that again. <laughs> I'm going to go up and get a conveyor lift down into the middle of that. Which is the exact middle here. Which means I need road barriers again. This time there. And a single throughput here. And it's just a matter of connecting that up and connecting that up like so i hope that's the correct height which it is yep which it is and all those three materials will now go toward storage from here Mm. Let's see. Um, let's get up here. No. They are actually getting in there at a really, really good position, I think. If I just extend that. Problem is, I need to extend it both ways, which I like to on each side which i don't really want so I'm going to do the same trick here again with that there a wall there and then i should be able to connect a little foundation two meter probably right here get rid of that again and with that we have moved that right in the middle of that foundation awesome now well, it's only a matter of how much materials i have with me to finish that no ouch well, let's continue building down here then. Man, that's even almost the correct height. That's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome. Really good, really good. I do want to get up here though. Uh, probably from here. And a nice little slope. Nope, not like that. More like that. So that I can get that up here and somehow merge it onto those two lines, which I have no idea how to do yet. It was too high though. Let me guess now it's too low. No, oh, still one meter too high. Two meters too high. That's better. Let's put a few pillars up as well. Wait. Big pillar support here. That's a big bridge after all. Needs big supports. Next one, let's do that actually right here. In case I need to get on that iron node. 
I can get it up there easily. For like 15 in between, maybe. Yeah, let's go for 15 in between. Pillars. And of course, at the last one, I run out of concrete. <clears throat> What did I expect? It had to be like that. Give me all that concrete. That should do it. Oh, and I need to merge that on so that it gets emptied as well. So, and we got some power over here. I put another wall here. And here I can put a wall, double wall outlet on there. That it lines up exactly with that one here. So let's put another one there and there. Connect the two up. Like so. And. Let's grab the double wall outlet again. That's exactly there-ish. Yeah. And that one is exactly here. Good. Two outlets there. Actually, let's connect that to here and put a power pole. Uh, now I'm out of wire. Ooh. Where's my car? Where did I put my car? Over at the concrete. Mm. So much walking. Oh, hello. Anything else hostile here? I strongly no. advise you to harvest this specimen. Does not look like it. Actually, have not a lot of concrete. 
And not another plate as well. So let's grab a few of them too. Concrete, wire, and why not cable as well. Man, you are late with your walk on. You need to wake up? Well, good thing you threw a flashbang then. That wakes everyone up, Marco. Look good. Mm. Well. Okay. I do wanna... Remove that. And... I definitely want to hook up those... Belt before turning anything on here. So, in order to do that, I'm going to get that pole out to here and that one out to here and then i just need to connect that and this one uh, should have power then so that one now has power on the bottom let's go upstairs see if i can get that power up here as well somehow I mean, I could do just that. <laughs> A little bit lazy, though. Um, that is very, very weird rock music. Try something else here. Better. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I need power here. I don't need power in that level. So let. Put some walls up. I need power here and I need power on that level as well. Something is slipping through the wall here. I put that too close to the wall. Well, let's open that up again then. Since it's going to be expanded in that direction at some point anyway. I might as well. <clears throat> Put a little bit of a tower here and not fall down. I can get the double wall outlets over there. So, two conveyor and then three for that. So, air and And there is very hard to see. I'm not going to do the same thing there. That is not necessary, I think. So Double wall outlet. Um, I think there. Yeah. Looks good. Now I just hook that up. And that up. And now everything should have power. Check the recipes. 
again? Well, it should be eligible for power. Let's call it that. It does not yet have power. Do, 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 do. That up and that up for now. For now, that's good enough, I would say. Well, all right then. I just need to hook that up still. I have not yet done that. Good, good. The exit is sorted too. All right. I think that's it. I don't need to have that as a Mark Three though. Mark One is more than enough for that. Since I need like forty-five. 24, 30, yeah. That's more than enough for four. Ooh, I'm sorry. I am very sorry. get that stuff over and hook it up Ooh. That is definitely a long way. I don't think I want to do that for the quartz as well. I think I'm going to go for... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, rocks or trains, depending on what I have by then. All right, uh, let's just leave it sitting here for now. And actually, no, I'm not going to hook up the other two materials. I'll wait till I do that. Oh crap. I need those pillows, I forgot about that. And then I need to figure out which one goes on which belt and if I have to replace those um, balances on a different position, which I probably will have to do. Hmm. <clears throat>
I think I need to open a few windows here. It is getting very, very warm. Since I am at my PC now for six hours. That thing is kicking out some heat. So I'll be right back. I just open a window or two. those belts in place That will be a really, really big base, I think. Uh, problem that I have with that is I don't think I want to have like a mega factory or something like that here. Because as far as I see or I know, I'm at the northwesternmost edge of the map. The map goes like that and then down here as far as I know and it would probably be better to go somewhere in the middle of the map for a for a main base so at some point there will probably be a big a big moving day and of course I ran out of materials before finishing it. <clears throat> and I'm actually afraid of having to move all that stuff somewhere else. But that's way in the future. Okay. Let's actually grab a little bit more. Why not? Hmm. Okay. Let's find out which belt is which. So that I can assign that accordingly. The middle one is the pipes, the bottom one is the beams, okay. So beams, pipes, industrial beams. Why don't I use the highway here? on one here I 
maybe see how much is everything used that one is actually used more so i might actually merge on the beams the industrial beams here they don't produce as many yeah that's definitely fuller than this one here and get the other two materials on this one which actually will make it easier i can just put a merger in line with that there let me get in the middle here something like that merge that on here for now yeah two on there and the top one on that how am I going to do that? I have no idea. I think I need to redo the... Yeah, I need to redo the balancer further down the line here. Do that. Nope. You and you. And the top one is the one that needs to be down here and the bottom ones need to be up there okay i'm not going to do that that would be uh, very stupid let's do that in a different way put the little here probably And connect that up. And of course I didn't do it the correct way around. Always. Why is everyone marked as a raid leader though? I don't get it. What is going on with that? Let's get rid of that basically. Turn that off. Just now noticed that that Marco is also as a raid leader here. That is very strange. Could not be like that. Merger there, merge there. Connect that up. Connect that to the top and that to the bottom. So that balance now. that up right and actually just put the bottom and the top one like straight onto here bottom and the middle one like so and like and then we are connecting that up and then i need to set up the not really and then i need to set up the final configuration for the storage and everything should work once there are materials coming in like that um let's configure that line straight away so the bottom was bottom was beams then pipes in the middle and then beams again mm. 
Okay, so beams fine. Beams and pipe. Uh, that one is already. Oh, that that one has already the beams. Okay. Well, good for me. Uh, and that gets then the pipes. Deal. Overflow to the left. Perfect. And on the other side, we are going for the first one that is three. It could actually be that one. No. Okay. Has to be. Has to be that one then. Okay. So that get the encased industrial beams then. Pasted, and I just remembered that I forgot to do the backside over there at uh, the bottom, bottom ones. Yeah, that one is, but that one is not. So copy paste done. All right, um, actually do that properly here. Since it is coming from up there. I did one too many, okay. Okay, that gets balanced here. And then into storage. Perfect. Everything is hooked up. Which means, in theory, I can hook up those cargo containers. See if that getting connected properly into storage and then turn on that building. Let's go. Pipes in the middle. Need to remember that. Pipes are in the middle. Now I'm just temporarily hooking up two mergers here. One for the pipes. In the middle. And one for beams. Which of course is clipping straight through there, but since that's only temporary, I couldn't care less. Should be the materials coming in here. I think I was a little bit quick. <laughs> oh, I'm, I see it. Right there it is. And there they come, loads and loads of pipes. Coming in, getting sorted here. The beams are coming in as well. Awesome. Now it is stuttering a little, which is normal. And out of the storage, I'm using maximum of the belt. 
that gets sorted to the top as well here and hopefully nothing is logging up back here oh god where did i land hmm. okay that goes in here you pipe down there Where are the other pipes, though? Ah, there they are. Perfect! Working! 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 It is working! Awesome! A lot of pipes that are coming in here. Beams should be empty pretty quick. Oh yeah. No problem. I actually want to wait until that is empty and then start the production of the rest until then. Let's drive back. And next, I think I need to figure out how to uh, get the phase two materials automated. Or I actually grab some pipes and some encased beams once they are here and finish hyper tube. That's going to be fun. Okay, steel beams right here, filling up. Get those tubes. Okay, almost, almost. Uh, I actually need two stacks of the feet. Interesting. Getting more materials that I need. Oh, and the smart plating, I probably have enough now. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do have enough. Good. Zoom. Okay, smart plating done. Let's get the rest back in here. there any smart plating coming in at all? I do have that automated. There's almost nothing on that belt. Why? Do I produce so few smart oh yeah there i apparently produced that that few smart plating okay 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 that should in theory yeah be the maximum it, which it is good 
So my balancer is actually working as intended. Which means since I got that done, I can delete all of that again. So that I have it ready for the next one. And I can close that, then I think I might actually continue to use Satisfactory Calculator then. Since I now know what I can do to actually use it properly. That was very, very not uh, necessary. Um, I am very close to the limit of my current power production. Um, I do think I have two coal power plants turned off for now though and I now have better belt and better um better drills I had four I had four um god three three coal nodes I have over there okay um so I need enough for three minus mark two. N -n minor mark two, one, two, three. I have one portable miner. I have the. I really only have one left. Oh, apparently I do. Well then I need uh, I need six so I need at least three in my inventory. Two and three and then I just need to wait for some industrial beams. But for now as I'm waiting for those containers to empty I can actually um get the what's it called get the conveyor belt upgraded which then should mean i can turn on the missing two full generator i have no idea if i drive the right direction though to the right. More to the right. <laughs> oh. What is that? That looks interesting. And not natural. Oh god. Where did you come from? Ah, okay, that's one of those caves where I don't know where the exit is. Over there, that's my whole plant. Ooh, not good. Hello there, coal plant. Um, nice to meet you. I need to put a, no a new marker on where the actual coal power plant is. So, let's go down there and do that. 
So, a uh, new map mark right there. Select another icon. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, and that would be the coal power plant. I could actually color code that as well. Apply, and that means I can remove this one. Let's turn those two back on. Oh no, that was too far. And upgrade all of that. to actually upgrade that one the lift and now those two should work better or could work at all <laughs> to be exact i hope those were all normal nodes though 60 180 and I needed a 150. Uh, an impure one. Well, 45 per minute. I need 200% out of that one to get 180 coal. Since I need 150. That's enough. <laughs> that is actually enough. No, I just upgrade all of you. Yeah. And there we go. Now my power grid should be more stable. And it is exactly on the max consumption line. Okay. Good. I need to upgrade my power plant soon. Not good. <laughs> That probably means I need to find some uh, more coal node that's around and do an even bigger coal power plant. Wait a second, uh, let's say that you are on my compass when I'm nearby. I want to do that basically with all of my factories that I will have dotted around the map. That coal plant looks very weird from this position here. What the? 
What are you doing here? Oh, hello there. <laughs> what a jump. Nice. Don't need that bridge anymore. Thank you. Is that empty? It is. Nice. I can get rid of that. That. And if I can somehow see it. The murder as well and hopefully that is still connected now let's find out yep still connected good how much pipe is left in here nothing what a coincidence here so that I have room for that stuff and there we go I can finally hook that up let's check if all of them have their recipe I think I didn't double check the boundaries but that looks good to me Come on. That one is at 200. That one is at 67%. All right. Let's freaking go. There we go. Boundaries getting started. And everything should convey where it has to go those are starting those are starting soon as well and at some point oh look at that the first one is already coming out of it out of it first one here too all right i'm quickly closing up the windows again and then we check if everything is sorted correctly <clears throat> no encased beams yet but I guess since the belts need to saturate it might actually take a minute or two until that one has enough. Oh, look at that. There it is. There it is. Just saw it leaving. Perfect. We are automated for the encased beams. And we are already at 97%. I think that might go up pretty quickly to a hundred um i think it already is good not quite not quite yet even going down okay Maybe I do need to upgrade those belts. Damn it, I 
thought I had a had a hole to get into that level. Yeah, I might have to get those belts up. Why isn't there anything coming up here, though? Hello? Not enough coal? What the hell? Do I not have power on that? Oh crap, I don't have power on my coal. Well, that's not good. <laughs> no wonder that everything is stopping. It just got the, the belt empty and that's, that was it. Oopsie. Well, stuff like that can happen. Not even the iron was complete. Okay, now it should run a little bit better, I think. Okay, yep, there we go. Yeah, we freaking go. And at some point there should be a few coming down here. There they are. And hopefully that is not an, now enough to have that assembler running at 100%. These of course are not at 100% yet since it just stopped. <laughs> But that one is at a hundred now. That one is not quite yet at a at one hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure it will get there. Almost. Almost enough coming in. Come on. Eight. Yes. I think it's running. It's running at 100. Not quite. Seven and eight. Yeah, not quite at a hundred now. But that's, I think, the normal warm up phase here. Until that one is running at a hundred percent. Which I hope it does at some point. Where's the belt down here? Looking for that. Okay, that all looks pretty full. That one actually is full already, so that one should be at 100 pretty soon. And then of course it is converting more to the other ones. So. Hopefully it'll work out without me having to change the belt. I mean, not that I don't have the material for it. I would have just liked it to distribute evenly so that the top one is getting just enough to fill up to 100%. 
and then everything else will be good. And then... Uh, it does not really want to get to 8 out of 4 here. You know what? Let's just... Let's just upgrade those belts. Well, yeah, let's just upgrade those belts. Come on. I got the materials for it, so come on and do it. Those are all upgraded already. That's already level 3. That one and the one on the outside here. I can get there. Oh, well, now I can definitely get there. Oh, that is already level 3. Nice. I am just impatient. I need ooh, I need to have that running at a hundred percent ASAP. I need those materials. Then racing, racing now those belts. Um, okay, all of that is Mark Three. Nice. And now it's only this one and this one. And there we go. That is a hundred percent now. And at some point it will backlog and then we will have the rates I calculated. I don't like that the encased beams apparently just get thrown into into that one <laughs> to get down. That's a little bit weird. Oh wait, I think I got here with the car. Yes, I did. Why did I knew that this was going to happen? Oh, I got another idea. Um, since I do have a pretty big backlog to the constructors here for the concrete, I might just get the overflow on that belt. So let's put a smart splitter. Oh, I don't have a eye limiters. Do I have the stuff for AI limiters? I sure hope so. Uh, uh, oh yes I do. Woo! I think I need only one but yeah. Yeah one. Okay. So if I put that on here. 
the center output gets any and the right output gets the overflow and I put a merger right there I can funnel all of that excess concrete into storage which is awesome because that is a lot for some reason go 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 we need to get back Hello there! Did a power flux spawn there? No. An orb deposit, I think. Okay, what do we have here now? That is a lot of steel. Um, okay, uh, t -t 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 I think the next thing I'm going to automate is going to be the quick wire and the uh, AI limiter, there. which needs copper sheets. Okay. Um, uh -oh. Let's drive to my... Let's drive to my not existent mine for Aetherium and check if there is some copper nearby which I could use. Because I don't really want to funnel well, actually I do need the quick wire in my base as well. I might just funnel the quick wire from up there over here to my base and do the AI limiters and stuff in the basement or something like that. And what a ramp. That was iron two times. I like it that logistics for your stuff is that big of a deal in that game. Got those autosaves though. keep running away from me instead of attacking that is weird What's going on here though Ooh. that looks interesting especially that up there very cool ah okay Maybe I will explore in that direction soon. I do want to check out what else is on that hill first, I think. But for now, it's time to pick you all up. 
And build a miner on that thing. What? It is a pure node. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like it. That's going to be a lot of quick wire. Holy crap. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I cannot stand that music right now. That is just not cool. That high pitch noise is just too much. <laughs> Will I be able to place a minor on that? Oh, so I can. Okay, very good, very good. Minor will sit there, and then we are going probably for there are more criterium here. No, is there copper here? Mm, no. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm probably going to go for like a probably like a base that like hangs over and then gets with, with some pillow down into the sand or something like that. That might look pretty neat. A little bit like the heat, heat vault in uh, Greenland, I think, or Norway. Something like that. that. Might look nice. But for now, let's find out what's going on up here. Will I be able to get up there? I don't think so. Oh, okay. That vehicle is called the Explorer, after all. And boy, do you notice that. <laughs> there is a cave there. Oh, that might actually be the cave where I was in before. No, that was somewhere else. Ooh. No, that was not what I had in mind here. Ooh. Oh no. I really can't play this game. How far is that map going? in that direction that's north i i thought that would be the end of the map some somewhere here but that very much does not look like the end of the map wow I did not expect that, but that is very good because I'm pretty sure those things here... Oh no, they are not giving me my mycelia. I thought they would give me mycelia. I could use some of that.
Okay, a little bit of water here. And... Ooh! Computers, heavy modular frames. Ooh! Cool! That is so hard to come by. I like it. And for now, no enemies. Okay, what do you need? What? 30 motors. Hmm. I don't think I have enough stuff with me for that. 30. I don't even have enough for status. Okay. Well... Time for a marker, I guess. Look at how look at all the all that terrain here. <laughs> and look at all that water. Awesome. Okay, a uh, new map marker right there. And that need what did I say? 30 motors? And that's a crash site. Is that 30 motors? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What the hell? Yeah, you can say what you will, but there was a uh, intelligent species on that planet at some point. That is just not possible that those structures are natural. No matter how weird that planet is. And they have floating rocks, which are see-through from one side. That goes very, very far down. We have maybe coal in the neighborhood here. I would say that is a sounding no. 1.1k. Yeah, that's closer to my steel factory than anything else. Which is actually good in case I need to up my steel production and need more coal. Okay. Not a lot going on up here though. I was expecting some enemies, but nope. Not yet, at least. <laughs> okay, let's grab my car. I'm almost at the same height as the end of the space elevator here. Drive a little bit further this way. Ooh, that is a nice lake here. You can grab loads of water and get that water to basically everywhere on the map considering how high that that lake is that is awesome 
because as everybody knows water is flowing downward so you don't need any head pressure at all to get that stuff I don't know how far that is cool and what a look at my base that is very cool as well how do I get that this window will not appear in photo well let's take a photo then I'm not going to drive further with this one here. I'm driving back. I'm driving back. I should have enough encased beams now to make this Aetherium drill. Um, uh, oop, oh, that was very much the wrong. Oof. Very much the wrong spot. <laughs> Flip on your side. Oopsie. It miraculously survived though. And when I land on my wheels, that is taking. giving me damage. Four. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. There we go. I did not want to go into the waterfall. That was not my intention here. Oopsie. Nothing happened. Everything is fine. My car is for some reason out of steel pipes? Why? Why didn't I get the steel pipes back from that? Oh, well that makes sense. Why do I have so many portable miners with me? I only collected four. Ah, because of the um, the upgrade to the miners I wanted to do in the in the other uh, uh, at my coal factory. Where is that crate? And there it is. Put the miners in there instead. Oh, fuel. Of course, I need fuel too. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Bean. bad for me not to have those conveyor belts high up in the air and holy crap i have to <laughs> do something about that that looks so weird that bus going over there Okay, industrial beams. How many did I accumulate? Oh. I've got to do that. A 
enough. Enough to finish what I started. Which is hyper tubes. Woo! I I'm looking forward to experimenting with that. Has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe-based personal transport. Introducing hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. I will. Note. Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. First thing I'm going to do is build a hypertube to my steel factory. And then probably one to my coal. All planned. And the very first thing I'm going to try is if I can boost the speed in my inside the hyper tube i know that you can build hyper cannons which just launch you basically straight over the map but i don't really like that especially since i don't have a jetpack yet i would actually prefer to not use that at all i want to have like a hyper tube system where i get a uh, get a boost either at the beginning or in the middle of the track somewhere but I don't know if you keep your momentum inside the tube when you have like the hyper cannon in front of a tube but that is something I am going to test out um, let's put that stuff in here, that stuff in here. I don't know. Oh, I do have the inhalers in my hand, so that's good. Um, oh, I forgot about the hard drive. Iron wire. Interesting. That is actually very interesting. But the wiring is also interesting. Especially since I have to use that. Um, What's the basic recipe for that? Automated wiring. So stator and cable, which I all I'm already producing. Okay, I am not producing the high-speed connector though. Okay, so I'm not going to take that recipe. What is that? Pure quartz crystal from pure quartz and water. I like the explanation. Water. It's water. No shit, Sherlock. Um, the quartz crystal. What's the basic recipe for that? Crystal five to three. Nine to seven with a little bit of water. So we have 52.5 per minute. Do I see how many per minute I have here? 22.5. So I could double my quartz crystal output. Hmm. Maybe I go for the iron wire actually. But quartz is a very rare substance. Maybe uh, that would be wise or for later. I don't know, actually. There is loads of copper everywhere. If I could just use to get wire going. 
I think I'm actually going to go for the pure quartz crystal here. Even though I don't need it yet, but that's basically a double in production rate. Just when I, I just have to add a little bit of water to it. Yeah, let's do that. So, what else? Ah, sadly not enough of those frames that I found. Too bad. I would have liked to finish the radar technology here. Um, that's something I need to do now. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. I can then also finish that. I just need 150 black powder. And then I can... Well... Blow stuff up. Who, do <laughs> Who doesn't want to do that? Um, okay, so I need black powder, which means I need sulfur. Sulfur and coal. I do have loads of sulfur left. I just need to grab a little bit of coal. Which I want to do anyway, since I want to get those miners up. One, two, three. Hey, let's go and grab some coal. And if I find some sulfur on the way, good for me. That looks like the fault to me. Nice. Pick that up. Because I really don't know the rate. I hope it's one to one, but not sure. That is more sulfur right there. Why is it not shown on the map? I did a marker going on here oh god should probably stop I clipped on near damn it there it is perfect uh, those should be full yes and yes Let's actually check right away if I can make enough. Oh, no, not in a... Oh, no, wait. I have a craft bench in that thing. I think. Yes. Okay. Do I need the equipment workshop to do that? I actually do. Okay. While that is running, I'm going to grab myself a drink, so I will be right back. I am going to go for another 1 minute 30 second ad, so that newcomers to the channel don't have a pre-roll ad. Uh, yeah, so I will see you shortly. Uh, 
why? Why am I seeing jumping Marcos here? Wieso sehe ich das nicht? Did anyone see that? Das muss die Wärme sein. <lacht> that is so weird. Ich muss ja nicht rausfahren aus dem Bereich. Mhm. Ich kann ja die Bagger da nicht stehen lassen. Übrigens, das Zeug, was ich nachher noch brauche, äh, was wir brauchen zu bauen, habe ich schon gekauft. Das steht einfach noch beim Händler. Ja, äh. Hm. hm? Ich, ich komme mal wieder mal zurück. Jetzt, ich guck mal jetzt in den Stream. Wie hast du das gemacht? Äh, ja. <lacht> ich habe nicht aufgepasst. Ich hab bei den Strom geklingelt, echt. Warst du grad. Was? Was? Der blöde Wolf, was ist hier los? Der Wolf greift unsere Beete an. Ich hab einen Geister Fokus über die Steine hier springen. Was ist hier los? Gott, das wird Zeit, dass ich wieder Host sei. Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. Hm. Well, not dead yet. I do need to go retrograde though. Don't ask me how I survived that. No idea. And there is another one incoming. Well, Victory Screech! Those were some explosions. Were that explosions enough for you? Bye, have a great time. Uh, okay. Soll ich jetzt den Knaller zünden? Zünd den Knaller! Oh. Wow, I'm stupid. I can just do this. Okay, I lost a little bit of gravel there. Oh god! My soy. Uh, yeah. And I missed. Right. Let's continue, shall we? The black powder is done, so I can actually. Yep. Go back. <laughs> no, wait. First, I wanted to change the minus when I'm here anyway. So that's now 60, so I don't need to do anything with that. And the other ones should be 120. So I have a lot of headroom when it comes to coal and I have a minor two. Why am I missing? Oh, I know why I'm missing a minor. Because the last minor I need is actually in that drill here. Minor two. And there we go. That way I can upgrade my Um, that way I can upgrade my coal power plant. A lot actually, I think. Not that I really can do that, since my belt capacity is probably not high enough. But I could.
Wow, that thing is actually managing a hundred kilometers an hour. Pretty dang good. Ooh. Well, it's not managing that when I do this. Whoa! What the? Wow, I'm driving a gummy ball here. Okay, that was something else. <laughs> All right, ma'am, give me those explosives. more beams and I have another uh, hand slot mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. there they are I think I have to upgrade that steel factory pretty soon I have a little bit of a feeling that I need to do that soon so let's start the research for that. Um, oh, interesting, I need compacted coal to research biofuel, uh, turbo fuel. Oh, and I need plastic to do smokeless powder. That's not going to happen. I have not found oil yet. I can't even scan for oil yet. And I do need to find some mycelia for fabric and stuff. There are the high speed connectors are. They also need plastic. Yeah. I could build myself a few. I just saw that. That the power switch? Oh yes, that's the power switch. Uh, yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm building some AI limiters manually. Since I have Caterium. Oops, that was not Caterium. <clears throat> How many AI limiters do I need? Fifty. Mm, don't think I have enough for that. One hundred and thirty-three ingots. Maybe, maybe just. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really natural. Uh, I need. Oh, I need ten quick wire. Oh yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Because that means I need 500 quick wire. Well, good thing I wanted to set up a criterium factory anyway, so we are going to do that next. Mm -hmm. And that would actually will actually be a very interesting factory because it will be the other way around. We'll have the smelters on top, and then the constructors, and then the assemblers. Well, basically just constructors, since I will build the rest here, I think. <clears throat> I might actually have enough quickwire. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's actually check. That is a pure criterium node. So let's go in here. 
and say I want to make wick wire we are missing pictures here there we go I want to make quick wire let's say I don't know 500 Minor Mark II on Pure. I don't want to have it overclocked. That's actually not that far away, I'll have to say. Oh. Let's go for 400. And if I go for 400, it's only one minor mark two at 100%. Huh. That is a lot of quick wire per minute. My belt will not handle that. My belts. I will have to run two belts. Ooh. Okay, huh. it might be a bigger, a little bit of a bigger factory after all. Cool. Pretty dang cool. Um. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. Ah, I actually have enough for all the quick wire. Good. Which means I have enough for 50 AI limiters, which is even better. Nevertheless, I will put. Uh, I will start to set up the Caterium factory. If I have a pure node, I might as well use it. Um, maybe what I'm going to do first, though, is to set up a extension height extension for my um, uh, for my storage so that I can well basically go higher with my storage We'll see. We will see. But I'm pretty sure when I really produce 400 quick wire per minute from one of the uh, Caterium uh, nodes, that will be full very quickly. That storage. Very, very quickly. And I might have to up the number of lanes getting in to the storage as well if I do that. I might have to go for four lanes. <clears throat> I'm confused. What am I missing for the AA limiters? Shouldn't I be able to make 50 now? Not just 32? Hmm. That is confusing me a little bit. 
I thought it said 10. Why is it now all of a sudden 20? Nah. Damn it. Oh. Let's get a few AI limiters going so that I can set up that factory. And then we will see. Ah, I wanted to try out the hyper tubes as well. I don't know what to do first. Um, I think I'm going to go for the hyper tube first. That should be pretty quick. I think that's enough. Um, uh, what do I need for hyper tubes? Transport, transport. Copper sheets and steel pipes, some rotors. Okay. Um, actually, let's check how many coupons I have. 14. Not bad. I'll take that. 1,700 per minute. I'm happy with that. Okay, 14. Let's get a ramp set for that. And let's get some windowed walls. Walls. Uh, the structural frames and the metal pillars. Oh no, that's too much. Uh, structural frame set probably later. Last mm. frame foundation, that's cool. 13 in total, okay. Um, I need to change that. Let's get rid of those pillars. 11. Asphalt foundation. Asphalt or concrete? I want to have both, to be honest. Let me get rid of that. And have the asphalt. Okay, I need to get rid of that as well. Mm, 10. Steel wall. Mm, let's get the concrete wall instead. Two left. Do I have anything? Oh, the metal pillars actually. Hmm. Uh, the ramps, no. I could go for the doors. Or for something like that. Ooh, that might actually be more important. Wall attachment, I think, is the way to go here. 15. Damn it. Hmm. 13. I do need that at some point too. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's do it. Ah, 15. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I only have 14. Damn it. Uh, do I even have something for one? Don't think I do. Industrial railing. Get that one coupon. 
into my raid here for later for safekeeping. Too many of those in my inventory. Same for screws here. Yeah. Screws might actually get full. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Let's get a hyper tube going. Actually, get a hyper tube going from here. Okay, let's see. Okay, I probably need to start with a board. Apparently. So this one should go to the steel over there. So I want to go from here. And that needs now an entrance. Which I need industrial beams for. Do -do -do -do. I'm pretty sure I need to up my production there. Entrance. Is that now working? It needs power. Well, good thing I have power. Oh, apropos. How is it looking here? Mm. Yep, I need to up my power very soon. Okay, it's not working without a tube attached. And now I want to go like up there. Let's go up there from here for now. Actually, let's build a freaking jump pad. Ah, uh, actually, let's not build a freaking jump pad. Let's just build a ramp. stackable one here so I hope that is the same uh, same spacing here so one two like so and now I could get that on top and hopefully hook it up So, <laughs> let's test. Okay, okay. Working, working, working. Um, get up there. And get that going. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's put 
that stuff here. I need power as well, so power pull, power line as always, and then that, that, that. Hopefully, let's put here, that there. Um. And probably that. The rest I'm going to do later. That's going to be my first type of two. I am very very interested in how that will work if I like get lower if I have to have a boost in between and if I can just go insanely fast inside the tube when I put like cannon on the front okay, so that and now I need a wall support there because I do want to get all the way up, like so. Um, noodle looks pretty good. Uh -huh. Horizontal to vertical looks better. there and get the exit respective entry in there oh okay never mind i need a wall to put here well good thing i did that <laughs> good thing i did that can i actually put a entrance on that i can oh that's cool that is very cool indeed Whilst if i connect it like this most of it most of the cable will actually be inside the wall that's pretty neat Okay. I'm very interested to see what is happening now. I am getting through. Okay. It is good. It's very good. Oh no. I'm out of sheets. Oh, come on. Oh no. <clears throat> Wanted to jump over, but that's not happening. Okay, more copper sheets. Sure. Grab all the copper sheets. Oh no. Good thing that is so high up that I can still build it from here. Oh no, that's not good. Um. Um, um, um. Auto, auto two D noodle. Probably auto for that. Did that work? No, it did not. Which 
Shoot me back. <laughs> Okay, now I'm very interested to see how it's going to go. And then I will try the thing with the hyper, uh, with the with the cannon. Okay. Well, it is quick. I don't seem to lose a lot of momentum. And here I am. All right then, time to get the rest going, I guess. Uh, one, two maybe. I put a hyper tube in between here. I can. Let's do that. Oh. Okay. And now I need to have an entrance here and here. And in theory, that should. Um, well, what's happening is I should get a push here, um, another push here, and another push here, which should throw me much quicker into the actual hyper tube. So let's get a dedicated power pole for that. Probably there. Connect all of that up. And well, hopefully I don't die, I guess. Hmm. Okay, it does not seem to be that much quicker. I am getting quicker when I'm going downhill again. Okay, try the same thing on the other side, but with more than two, I would say. Hopefully I survive the exit. <laughs> so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That would be double now. Oh no, wait. Like that. Now for the entrance again. One here, one here, and one here, and one here. That will cost me a lot of power, I think. Grab the double outlet, mark one. And let... I can build a mark manually here. Now I need more connection points. That it just looks very dangerous what I'm doing here. What do I need another entrance on that side? No. I don't think so. Well, here goes nothing. Not sure. Not sure if I'm really quick or maybe I just need to. I think it's meant to stack like. Um... Oh, and I'm getting out of that like this. That's good. I think it's meant to stack like uh, exponentially. 
So the more I actually build, the faster I will get faster, basically. How many is that now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is a lot. Don't even know if my power grid can handle that. That needs to be now a Mark II as well. And another power pole. Something is not right here though. Okay. Eight times the speed in theory. Oh yeah. Oh look at that. That is definitely quicker. Much quicker. And now I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Okay, maybe I need to leave a little bit more room in between. I keep getting stuck here. Eight is actually working pretty good, I think. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. Eight. Seven, eight, let's try ten. I'm very interested what's going to happen. Oh, I'm out of materials. Okay, never mind. Mm, what do I need? Steel pipe. Well, I'm at the source for steel pipe, so... Which one is it? This one, I think. Let's get rid of you for a second. Oh no, that was the input. Mm -hmm. Eat. The output needs to go for a second there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a very, very long cannon. Which will probably, if I like point it 45 degrees into the air, kill me very quickly. Oh god, I can only build two with that. Oh well. And I need steel pipes for those as well. Hmm. Oh well then.
I think that means it is time to get home and get some more steel pipe. Okay, that's emptying. Uh, do I fit through here? I very much do. That is definitely going to be one of my preferred ways to travel though. I just need to figure out how to not get stuck. I try and leave one more space in between. Um, still pipe here. Badly, that means I need to get rid of all of that again. Try that again. So, um, let's do that. Problem, of course, is that makes all of that much, much longer. So I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow. Eight. Nine. And ten. But hopefully I will not get stuck in between if I do that. them up it goes no oh, that is already up to this pole all right and the one and the two and the three and the four and the five okay ten let's try <laughs> Look at the speed! Look at the speed! And I'm stuck. I can't even put all of them up here. I don't have enough room for that up here. That was cool, that speed. Amazing. Okay. Uh, before... No, let's, let's just put it up. I'm pretty sure I'm not getting stuck if I have two spaces in between here. So, let's do... Actually... Can I do that? Is that going to work? I do need to get rid of that for now, but I don't know if that's working. Uh, that is a big bad no. That is a big fat no, sir. It needs the space between, so one, that's two. I think ten is enough for that. Uh, distance here. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I don't need to do that.
Because... Oh, and of course I got rid of that, damn it. Because I only need the space, the, the bigger space between here. I can't get into this anyway from that side. Yeah. That is a good plan. So now let's put that back up again. Do, 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 do. That it's connected. I am at a hundred percent. No, I'm not for some reason, even though that is twelve out of four. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't only need the three spaces in between here. And the actual cannon can be in that spacing. How many boosters do I have now? One, two, oh, no, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Just the number I want. Ooh, God. Okay. Now it's just a matter of hooking everything up again. Like so. And I think that should work. Or not. Oh, I forgot to hook up this one. Damn it. Well, that can't work then. the wrong connection here that needs can to connect to this and that need to connect to that oh yeah i think that is a very good speed for that and since i now know oh i think i know let's test that i don't need the free spaces in between Let's go back really quick. Yeah, look at that speed I'm having on myself here. Awesome. Yeah. That's working, all right. Oh, get the other side sorted. And then we have a better way to travel longer distances. And needs to go okay how is that affecting my power oh it is actually affecting my power in a way that my biomass burners are running again. That is not good. Because that means as soon as they run out, 
I mean, they won't anytime soon, but as soon as they run out of fuel, I am pretty much fucked because my um, my power grid will just shut off, which is not good. Um, one, one, two, three, and four. And five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Should I do more? Oh, why not? And eleven and twelve. And I think that's enough. Uh, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven and twelve boosters. That should get me very quickly to my steel factory. are using a lot of power holy moly i'm almost at my capacity uh not good not exactly good <laughs> oh that's amazing <laughs> That is awesome. Why aren't you producing? Why are you only at 78%? My math should check out what's going on. Okay, I have enough coal, I have enough iron getting in. So what is the freaking problem here? That is backing up to this one. Why is that the only one backing up though? Oh well, that one is backing up as well. But it's not backing up enough. That's not cool. Where did I go wrong here? That is full, that is full, that is full, and that is not full. Okay, so that one is the main problem that I'm having. That's at 50% only, okay. Why though? Why though? Because 
because it's not getting enough from this one here. Is it starting to back up here enough? I don't think it is. It should, since it is full and keeps being full up there. But if it is backing up, it is doing so very, very slowly. So I might actually... Um, oh, actually... I don't want to overclock that anymore. This one needs to be a fast lane. But if I do those two to a slower one, maybe that will help. I do that to a Mark 1. Is there more being transferred over here? I don't know. Not yet, but as you can see here, that's backing up further now. So it will get more. Okay. I think that's exactly what I need to do. I need to up, uh, downgrade those two belts so that this belt gets more stuff. Which it should get now because that one is back up all the way. Yeah, you see? Now that one is getting three at once. Okay, 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 okay. And I'm pretty sure this one will back up at some point now too. Yep, there we go. It is starting slowly, but it's starting. And that will mean that this occasionally gets another um, another ore, there you see it, two running in at once, here again, okay, so those are staying at a nice hundred percent, and that should get higher now. Six for now. Once that is running at a hundred percent, the the top one should get to a hundred percent as well. And since that is slowly stacking up, I think that should do it. Keep an eye on it though, and open a beer. Not a day. So post. I wish you all a nice rest of your Saturday. Okay, it is on the brink of backing up all the way. It doesn't really make sense to me that I need to downgrade those two belts. We have more throughput here. As far as I understand it, it should back up anyway at some point. But maybe it's just not backing up quick enough or something like that. I don't know. But now that both of them are backed up. We should see a lot more going this way.
and that is very much the case. So, how is it looking here now? 58%. It got buffed a little bit. Waiting to see if that number is getting higher than 6. I saw a 7 there briefly. Uh, still a 6, but it is getting higher. Also slowly high. I want to see an 8. I want to see an 8 in the front there. Okay, yeah, that, that is back up very nicely now. I wonder what would happen if I increase, uh, if I get those now to Mark 3 again. If it would actually start to empty the belt again. But that also means I might have to do something about this here. Maybe decrease that in between. That belt in between here. Don't know. Don't know. <coughs> Sixty nine per cent. Nice. Not getting towards a hundred, though. Still not seeing a seven here. Maybe I have to downgrade belt on the bottom, too. Oh, I saw a seven there briefly. So maybe we are getting there. Maybe we are getting there. Let's try that actually. Let's get the other belt to a Mark 1 as well. That one here. I think that's how I planned it before. And see if it's backing up as well. It would be very interesting. Because since they are closer together now, that might mean that the throughput is actually higher, even though it is a slower belt. Huh. Let's check. Of course, now it got uh, it get a, got a little bit down, which is normal. Still a six in front here. Doesn't want to go to seven or eight.
Uh, I mean, I need 60 per minute there, and the belt itself has a maximum of 60 now. So as long as it's not completely full, it will not get to 100% anyway. So I don't think that's the way to go here. One more thing I'm going to try is I'm going to get that to a mark 1-2. And I think the input here as well. And let's see if that has an effect. Not really. Oh, I saw a seven for a long while there. Longer than ever before. Uh, was a seven again. Hard to say. Hard to say if that has an effect. Maybe I just need to have an ever so slightly increase of the boundary here. Making 90 per minute. I mean, what I could do. is put a smart splitter down here say that it should funnel everything in that belt and just the overflow in that and that belt since they are getting enough items from here anyway Maybe I try that. I'm going to check again quickly. How is it looking here? But that draw looks like not good enough. Yeah. Okay, I'll, tr I'll try that with the smart splitter. Ooh, that was one story too far. I'm pretty sure I cannot, like, change that to a smart splitter. No. Get. To get rid of that then. Actually, I'm going to make that with it when I have a smart splitter to mark three as well. Again. Well, as that and that. Like so, um, the input needs to be a Mark 3 too. And then I need the Smart Splitter on that one. Um, Like so, with the input here, that output there, and now I need to configure that thing, which I can't because for some reason it's not a smart splitter. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
there. There. Okay, now nothing is coming through as it should. The left output gets this eel ingot and everything else gets the overflow. That was wrong. Okay, that one is now filling up. Let's hope the other two aren't getting too few ingots as well now. For well, now they are still very much full. And now that is full as well. Okay. So it stays that way. Okay, backing up. Awesome. That should mean we are going to see some overflow going in that direction soon. Perfect. Okay. I think as long as we don't see the other foundries not getting empty. We are good. 50. Meh. I mean 50 is good. 63, 64. Still 50. I think that's something only time will tell. We are getting a decent overflow now through the other splitter. And I do hope that means that this thing is now running at 100% as well. Yes, it is. I saw an 8 there. And another 8. Awesome. I think I got it. For now. Everything else, we need to wait. <clears throat> well back home with my very efficient um or two. I have to see how fast it is again <laughs> look at that <laughs> Uh, I love it. It's awesome. Those hyper tubes are a lot of fun. Alright, um. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do next. Why is my light always off when I was in a hyper tube? That's not cool. And how do I get up there now? Uh, hmm. Well, probably like that.
Oh, why not do use the ram? I mean, I got it now. Might as well use it. Oh. Double ramp. Hmm. I mean, I would use it, but it would clip, which is not cool. If I do that and then double ramp, no, a four meter double ramp, no, a normal one of those, and I don't know if I have something to put underneath that. Um. I don't think I do. I think I need to buy that. I think that's that. Yeah. Okay. Not gonna happen now then. Two coupons though. 2450. So something else is now full as well. Pipes is full. The. Tables are full. I know that the iron plates are full. Oh, and the copper sheet are full too. Okay. Uh, I think that means I really need to set up some sort of blueprint to easily stack up those conveyors here uh, those uh, storage containers <clears throat> thankfully I by far I think at least by far I need, don't need to upgrade my belts here. No. I mean the left one is getting a little bit full now. But it's still, still okay. Next time I'm going to try and complete phase 2 of the base elevator that's for sure what time is it anyway water past 10 hmm. i think i'm not going to go that long anymore i think i'm just getting a little bit of stuff for the criterium which means i need a load of constructors and smelters let's check how many a need for that. So let's actually get rid of a little bit of stuff I have first. Uh, I need to. F I need to think of something where I can put. A one container up that feeds both lines and decides which direction the item should be fed into which side uh, I think I might have to do that with a programmable slither though which I don't have unlocked yet but let's see if I can get my inventory empty I have not had that empty in a while. So that is full. Screws should not be full. Concrete shouldn't be full as well. Although we are getting close to full. Mm. 
why not do that from the top here that is cable so that goes in there that goes into the sink as well um that goes into the sink that is not full what do we have here reinforced iron plate and steel beams and i don't know probably pipes yep so pipes go in there the rest is empty why am i not Taking a look at the front here to actually decide <laughs> what to put in. <laughs> that was very much not smart, what I just did. Okay, um, that is it. Um, the rest I'm just putting in here for now. Ooh, I need to make rebar. I don't have any rebar anymore. Uh -huh. And I don't have any room anymore either. Put that there. Let's grab a few pipes so that I can make myself some more ammunition. Which was a the equipment shop. And then we grab all the stuff I need for the Caterium mine and drive there. And maybe just get the layout done. Or actually I'm going to walk there because I need power anyway over there. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's make 200 exactly. Or not because you didn't stop. Bing. Stop for me here. Grr. Oh, hello. Why do I? Why did I have rebar in there? Weird. That goes all in here, which should get me a few more coupons, I think. Okay, so. I need one minor mark two. I need power poles and power lines. So let's grab that. Um, Encased industrial beam is back here. Steel pipe. Modular frames. Wire. Probably a thousand. Um, the iron rods, I probably need a few of those too. Go for 400, loads of concrete. Let's put 2000 in, loads of cabling as well. And 
two portable miners, which I'm having in here. Good, so I don't need that in my list anymore. What else do I need? I need... Conveyor belts mark 3. Conveyor poles, probably the stackable conveyors, those as well. And the lifts, um, which means... Oh, Iron plate. Since I need that for foundation, let's grab a thousand as well. Loads of steel beams. Like so, and that's all. Let oh well can I turn around? Well I actually can. Oh, I actually can turn around. Interesting. And for some reason, my blade runners are floating next to my, or inside my body. Or next to my body, depending on how I look at my, my, my guy. Okay. <laughs> Need to be careful not to accidentally walk into that all the time. Let's grab those two miners so that it won't go up anymore over there. Let's get rid of that. And now for the actual stuff I need. 400 quick wire per minute. I think that is actually exactly what I'm going to do. I need two lines to grab uh, to get all of that out of there, but I think that's actually what I'm going to do. Um, maximum belt speed, conveyor belt mark three. Nice. Nice. I can actually get all of that sorted like it should be with. The conveyor belts I have in my in, in my thing, for the lack of a better word. Get the constructors all in one plane here, and probably the smelters as well. We'll have one that's only running at 40%. For some reason, the other ones aren't at 100% either. That because I can actually make more with a minor mark 2. But those are all at 100%, okay. What happens if I do 450? Minor mark 2. Only one minor? No, another minor as well. Okay. Let's take a nice number. Still. Four or one? 401 also needs another miner, okay. I don't really get that, to be honest, but I guess it's fine. Let's swap that on like this. That goes there. Got a few smelters that gets that get feed fed directly and a few that do not. Why the hell is that so weirdly shaped? <laughs> Oh, 
That's a little bit weird. Maybe because of the belts. No, it's only sending 8, 14, 12. I don't know why that one is here and not the other ones at a hundred and then connected. Maximum level, I have no idea what that means. Reuse buildings when possible. do it like that and not just get rid of that one and get that divided by this can i like delete that no hmm. i'm at a loss here Belt capacity isn't a problem for those as well. Only getting... Oh, I'm only having a problem with that here. So I ha actually have no idea why that is running at 40%. All the other ones at 80. And not a single one at 100. That says to me actually that, um, or is that because of my input? Let's actually go for Caterium Ore here and do 240. We still have the same if I up that to 250 or even 300 that still stays at 40% Okay, that is something I don't get that is something I really don't get. <laughs> Why feed the 18 units in here and not split that between all the other ones? Not even that one is running at 100. Maybe that's because they don't want to have a... No, oh, they have splitters in be splitters and mergers in between here too. And as soon as I go to 401 quick wire, I get another minor mark two that runs at 15%. Hmm. Oh well, I don't know, I just know that I need to have one, two, three, four, five, six constructors, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven constructors, um, so... Seven constructors and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven smelters. I'm pretty sure I could build that with six. I just need to split it up 
enough. Which I think I'm going to try. <laughs> I will get the stuff for seven, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go for six smelters. So, and that means I need... Well, I have more than enough for that, just 14 reinforced plate. Do, do, do. Reinforced plate, 200, good to go. Let's grab some power and let's go. Oh, that one is full. That one is not full. And that will be the last thing I'm going to do today. Get over there, get the miner done, miner down, and then we are at an end for today. Oh, Marcus, sleep well. I don't know if I missed that. I'm pretty sure I did. I haven't looked into chat for a while, so if I did, I am sorry. I'm still wishing you a good night. I built it there. Can I stand that up there? Floor oh, too steep. I will get there. I wrote like one minute ago. Hey, I didn't miss chat. Woohoo! Well, good night then, Marcus. And I will see you next time. Right, get some power and minor. Oh, there. Oh, 240 per minute. I like those numbers a lot. All right, then. Uh, I think that is it. Let's go somewhere where I can actually look at my beautiful base. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today. It was a little bit of a longer stream today with nine hours. Um, yeah, if you did, you know what to do. All the good stuff. Hit the thing and the thing and do the other thing. You know exactly what I mean. Um, yeah, I am going to stop now and I'm probably going to bed fairly soon. Um, tomorrow I might do either a little bit of, um, a little bit of Elden Ring again, as today, but I'm not sure about that because that broke me today. Um, and yeah, I think that is it. So... Good night, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And we'll see each other in the next one. Bye-bye.